come out the bathroom with boots on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the parks came out the bathroom with boots on. That's pretty funny. That's sick. And the brown boots that I've never even seen anybody have. <laughs> the brown Tims the is brown funny. Tims. Yeah. Yo, the color Tims you wear, t- bless you, tell you a lot about the type of person you are. Like Harlem niggas, Harlem and Queens niggas, they stay used to be trying to freak the Tims. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like the blue Tims yeah. and all that is weird. You yeah. know what's yeah. funny though? People always talk about New York with Tims. You, Detroit niggas wear more Tims than any other fucking state in the country. Yeah, they shoot everybody too, so you don't want to talk no, bad but, about it. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm just saying like they wear like Tims, like the line, like Jack Timberland jackets. I think Detroit was was a, was largely responsible for holding South Pole down whenever all of us thought they were trash. Yeah, that, that whole Middle America, yeah. like yeah. they still they're yeah. probably still wearing yeah. South and, Pole. And somebody is supporting Lug still too. Yeah, Funk Flex. Somebody's supporting all that. And Echo shit. Unlimited, they still like top ten every year in uh, sales. Well, Echo owned Matt of those street oh, rooms. Like, pardon me, guys. I, I can't hear the word Echo. It reminds me of Mark Echo. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all super low in them? Yeah, I'm a little low, Parks. I ain't gonna lie. Turn me up. I'm lit. I'm lit. Turn me up. Turn, yeah, you know I mean, yeah. Mic check. Mic check. Still, still. Oh, I'm, that, there we I'm go. Not yelling. I'm a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I'm all the way up. Now we good, so we can get this thing started. Let me start with such a glorious I moment. Oh. Oh, oh my God. That's Rory crying. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that is me crying. <laughs> Thousand percent. That's Rory. Yeah, that's me telling Rory to chill out. <laughs> Word? Because you was mad calm? That's right. Daddy, nigga. Um, how much did you watch? No, Were you behind no. the shoulders? No, no. Oh my God. All right. No, Joe Biden. Mic check. One, two, one, two. We are here. Welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, episode number 142, I'm assuming. Uh, and y'all ain't correcting me Whatever 141 I ain't got no job It's lit <laughs> I ain't give a fuck about Whatever episode this is Episode 141 Of the Joe Budden Podcast Formerly known as I'll name this podcast Later I'm your host Joe Budden Maul is here on time Rory is here uh, New Chris Brown is here again Savon is here And Parks is here And boy do we've got A, a special show lined up For you guys today <laughs> Hmm Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> said, hmm. We do. We have a very special show. So, a lot to get to. Uh, last week, net neutrality was very important. They're stealing the internet from us. They stole weed. They're stealing the internet. They won't let niggas have nothing. Um, so that's important. Uh, I got fired. Rory is really excited about that. No, I'm here to console you, man. Oh. Rory, pointers. Rory did that, so hopefully you won't have to go through that. Mm, but I'm here I to help you, it. my G. <laughs> but I still went through it. <laughs> and if I'm to look at how you have handled your unemployment, like... It's, it's lit. No. Nah. I've don't been think, bodying unemployment. I don't unemployment. really think Rory is bodying unemployment. I am. Because, but wait a minute now, I've never been... But listen, well, I, yes, I know I what you're feeling. I know you're probably a little lost, a little confused. I'm here to help you out. What's your interest? Rory what, uh, has been on at least seven flights... Since he's gotten fired. More, more than seven. One, way more than seven. Yeah. That's bodying unemployment. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but when do you want to work again? <laughs> I was working. Oh. That man. was work. You think you got room on the roster for Joe for Henny Palooza? I got you, bro. What, 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 you, what, what you think what, you want to do? Maybe be what? a lighting guy? Be Maybe like, carry uh, be like, some uh, speakers? The dude that Millie rock. Rory asked me again if I want to be a lighting guy. I'm going to snuff this <laughs> nigga. <laughs> so for, first of all, my, my resume that I've never written out. No, I'm saying <laughs> I, I know all the uh, job fairs and the schedule. I help you with your resume. I know people. I got connections, man. I, I could really help you out. The UPS plug that I got that emails me uh, every other day. Don't be I mad. UPS is hiring. Yeah. You should have been a cop. Why is that line so hard back in the day? You should have been a cop. <laughs> <laughs> that was mad flagrant to tell a nigga. You should have been a cop. <laughs> Fuck hip hop. That's big as wild. We're not starting with my unemployment, right? No, we'll get to that later. Let's start with um, something was in. Oh, my child. My child. Let me tell you about my weekend. How you have a baby and get fired? <laughs> Word. Yeah, that's crazy. Mo, how you doing? Before we start any podcast, I like to see how you doing. I'm good. Your shape up extra crisp today for some reason. I finally went to the barbershop. You have one of weeks. Dare Scully, which is hard, but that's kind of hipster. Yeah, drugs are really expensive. And Rory the other day had on a Parks and Recreations hoodie. Yeah. Which is mm-hmm. my swag. But that's hipster. 
Smoke and he it. tried to tell me that it was not. It was really literally the leaf that you see in front of every park. Good. Yeah, like I have parks. Them shirts. Hey, what's wrong with the just, park? This is my merch. Who's supporting? Hipsters don't go to the park, like the real parks. That hoodie was was pretty hipster, but we won't get into it right now. So listen, my weekend, right? Oh man, fuck all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, every time I'm trying to uh, distance myself from Rory. He does like a stand-up friend move <laughs> that reminds me of why I have to keep speaking to him. <laughs> Word. So Friday comes, I go and I and I do this uh and I go I do this year end wrap up show with Charlemagne that came out really really great. And while I'm doing that, uh, my baby girl calls me and says, "Oh yeah." And then I was really excited about that, even though I had just promised all the good people at Revolt that I would be at their holiday party. Mm. I did want to go to that revolt holiday. I did. I did. Well, you need to network now because you're unemployed. That's true. But that's a good place, good place to meet people. That's not why I wanted to go. That's not why I wanted to go, though. I wanted to go because I feel like holiday parties. people you could build with. Holiday parties build. Rory's pulling out all of the (laughs) words he loves. Holiday parties for adults are like proms, I guess. Like, it's not that I really wanted to go, but... You should be offered to go to a holiday party. And and ladies, don't don't fret. I'm not touching sexual harassment this fret. podcast. Yes, I said fret. fret. When you're unemployed, you gotta show niggas all of your vocabulary. <laughs> you gotta really show niggas you can be a valuable asset to whatever it is they're trying a to do. Valuable asset. <laughs> Look, Rory knows nothing about valuable or assets. Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait now. Joe don't. joking. That's this this is funny, man. I'm curious to see how this plays out. Let's get to it, man. Come on. How what plays out? Maul had no idea all, I was on the club. Things, Maul staring at me like, what's up with y'all? All the things that Joe was trying to clown me about, the reasons I've stayed unemployed and not taken certain things is because I know my worth and, and <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, God. Highly, I'm highly go. in demand oh, now. Oh, God. I'm highly in demand Did now. Rory just tell us he knows his worth? <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm so disrespectful. No, oh, word. No, no worry, I'm mad. That shit is hard. Streets, streets is liking that. Joe is a yeah. You a dick, man. Like, what's, your, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Why man? are you saying I didn't say a word? I, why? Why? But you just you ready to have fun with that drop though? I, I see it all in your face. Like you, th- you think that's the funniest shit? That in the is world. the best drop ever. That's the no, best drop ever. You don't hear me freaking it in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Rory no, trash no, ass nephew. Not. Yo, <laughs> who is Yo, this little Irish all, kid? <laughs> my cousin is not chump, and he listens to this podcast. So I would honestly watch what you said. Hey, I, I don't know. And I'm uh, keeping it all the way a buck. Listen, right now. your nephew. Should Oh, no, 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 my cousin, that's his son, oh. who, and he is not chump. Hey, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, give me some of these All Irish right. baby names. He don't, have, he don't have a sense of humor like us. I'm just telling mm. you that All now. All right, I'm a chill. I'm a chill then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chill. All right, do y'all want to start with me getting fired, or do y'all want to start with Migos' video, or do you want to start with- Did Migos blackball you? Is this why this is happening? Wow. Did Complex choose Migos over you? Yeah, I think they Did wanted, Coach Kate I think they make wanted that Amigos, call? Wow. Amigos interview and they couldn't get it. Let's start let's start with unemployment because there's so many different ways to attack unemployment. Like this is like sevenfold. Monster.com. <laughs> What's my I don't know what that Indeed. is. Indeed. It's places, so y'all where making jokes. places where you attack unemployment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pause. But I also recently just learned what grinder is. <laughs> Not weed grinder. I don't know why you are learning what grinder is. <laughs> Wait, because the nigga on Love and Hip Hop last night, Gay Rory. <laughs> gay. No, that's gay you. He look way more like you. Yo, the nigga on Love and Hip Hop, the gay dude, he ran, dressed ran, like up, too. ran up on his boyfriend that's not really his boyfriend and was like, yo, nigga, I, I catfished you. I'm Raul. And I'm no, like, wait, the gay? Yeah, he said Raul from Grand Concourse. Yes, he's Raul. So he catfished his gay lover on Grinder. <laughs> wait. What is Grinder? Oh, you. <laughs> is that like it's, gay uh, Tinder? The, it's yes. Tinder for gay okay. men. Okay. That's kind of ill. Gay niggas get right to the business of letting you know what the deal is. Grinder. They're yeah, not like- here to date. To de- <laughs> They're not here to date. <laughs> like, God. Yo, gay niggas are so blunt and straightforward. I love them. <laughs> anyway, there's like eight different ways to attack this unemployment. Uh, no one gets unemployed or fired uh, when you have a newborn. You would think the goal is to keep your job unless you're Rory and myself. Uh, yeah. Yet here we are. Gentlemen, how do you guys feel about me being 
unemployed. Are you guys excited about that? Let's get a round of applause. Well, uh, oh, yeah, let me get a round of applause for me, man. I, honestly, I thought you were joking on, on Twitter. Hold on, man. Let me get a round of applause. Let, let me just really... I mean, because I ain't get a proper farewell. I didn't, I didn't get a proper <laughs> send-off and goodbye. Said, but that's why, I, that's why I thought this was all a joke, though, because it was kind of like you had the baby, and I, I thought you were you know, going to take like a week or two off and then be right back. All right, so let me paint a timeline for some people because I, I do see how this can be confusing. And before we paint this timeline, you know, I do want to thank Complex and uh, for the tremendous opportunity that they afforded me with now wow look at you copy please trying to get your job back no, no that's that's that's, that's, that's crazy. honorable that's that's that's, 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 that's he's, he's trying to that. flirt with his new that's employers honorable. like look i even go out no, that's clean. Just, I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> no wait rory i know this podcast is here for the jokes and i want us to get all the jokes in <clears throat> but i have to make certain points because too many times joe budden has joe buddened something yeah I is agree. that the case here no because we don't know uh, we're in the dark as well okay but but we we know that Joe Budden will Joe Budden something. Yes, for we, sure. We do, the people in this room we have, know that. We have witnessed I plenty. thought that the peop, good folk over at Complex and Verizon were well aware of my history and my past as well. <laughs> <laughs> they thought it was an act, too. Yeah, I think they thought it was like a gimmick or something. So anyway, all right. So, so, so let's paint the timeline here. And unfortunately, you know, my heart goes out to the other creators in, in the world. And this is where I'll, I'll attack this seriously because... You know, I'm okay. I am okay. Me. I have worked myself into a position where I'm all right. I don't have I don't have worries, right? That's not really the case for a lot of other creators, man. A, a lot of other creators unfortunately when we get into this this corporate atmosphere and around some suits and just around some execs and some people who just really don't understand our culture, our culture, it puts creators in a very compromising position. I, I, I will say that. Let me paint this timeline for, for some people. And I want to start this timeline. And again, we're not here to bash anyone. We love everyone that we have worked with. Uh, but I start... I start this timeline with the good people at Complex telling me for nine months that I can't smoke in the bathroom. <laughs> this is why you got fired? No, but I'm going to I'm going to paint a timeline okay. here. Yeah. As someone who come my background is in music. My background is in the music business. Yeah, we smoke. In 2000, well, n no. In 98, in 99, in 2000, in 2001 and 2002, I don't know when the rules kind of changed, but you know where you were able to smoke in corporate offices? The bathroom. We knew that that was not allowed. Well, the, hall <laughs> the hallways, too, the steps, the steps. Well, yeah, back then, yeah. That's we I knew that that again. was not allowed, creators. I'm talking to y'all. We are afforded, we are afforded some, some different rights. While we knew that was not allowed for the job that we were doing inside of the building, nigga, they would go build you a smoking chamber. <laughs> right. <clears throat> if you wanted to smoke a cigarette, if you wanted to smoke a blunt, if you wanted to smoke crack cocaine last decade at a record label and you were profitable, they would find a way to appease you. That is important here because every time them niggas said to me, why are you smoking in the bathroom? For me, it was a constant reminder of people that were out of touch with culture. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with him. I'm rolling. I'm a smoker. I'm going to make a lot of points that it may be hard to keep up with. I put it to you this way, Rory. Three weeks ago, they attacked, they attacked security at Complex downstairs, attacked trampled a man who was trying to break in to that building to get to complex to speak to academics or myself i being the famous person there when people are famous you have to kind of cater to their notoriety is what i'm saying 
I shouldn't be smoking anyway. The baby coming. Let's let's keep it all the way, but I'm working on that. But when you tell a nigga you cannot smoke, so let's fast forward. I create a show. I do not care what the end credits of that show say. Noah, along with Elliot, along with some other people, understand how this show came to fruition. I didn't think it ever needed to be addressed. I didn't think it ever needed to be said because I'm a man of integrity. I live and die on right and wrong. There wasn't very much to negotiate when I created this show because I just created a show. I mean, it wasn't profitable at all. As a creator, I went into this venture with a vision for what it could become. What it quickly became was the best hip hop show ever, in my opinion. I'm biased. <laughs> I'm biased. I think that's accurate. I don't think ever before in hip hop there has been a show where they're just giving it up like that. And I, I, I do credit that. To act as well. That dynamic between the three of us on that screen does not exist without everybody playing a part. I think that part from day one uh, was disregarded and ignored by whoever it is that is running Complex. That's what I think. I think that's fair to say. Let me get an air horn in that, man. Hold on. Let me turn up my air horns, man. Niggas playing. Oh, oh, shit. Wait, hold up, man. <laughs> <laughs> There, right? I, th I think that that's fair to say. Creators, if you've created long enough, I'm sure you've gone through something like this. Let me speed this timeline up for a little bit. Day one, when, when I walk into a complex, I look at their objective. They're at the company's objective on the board to see what it is they need to meet as a company. I was aware of the company's standing when I got there. I told academics, Noah, and plenty of other people for this show to be a success. We kind of have to address some of the other things happening in Complex. In month one and month two, I noticed that all of that shit was out the fucking window. Nobody really gave a fuck the way that I did. The way that I did. That is important to say because it doesn't make anybody right or wrong. It just means Joe is, is a lot more passionate and psychoneurotic and obsessive then some other people, right? Self-awareness is important here. Am I going to tell a whole story without y'all giving a whole shit or something? No, we're here. We're here. All right. I, I'm listening. Yeah, man. Yeah. I told you. I'm, All I right, so y'all are listening. All right, I just want to make sure everybody's still here and attent <clears throat> attentive. Oh, let's see. Month three. They come to us and they say Nike has Vapor Max sneakers. And we're doing a sponsor integration or some shit. We need you niggas to wear this. My business mind told, told me I knew better than that. I wore it anyway. That's a check, people. And it's not a small check. It is a rather large check. Complex solicits rather large checks. Do they share with the creators? No. No. There you go. So that's fine. Let's put that to the side. Well, that's a contract. Though. That was a red flag. Yeah, but contracts are made to be broken. I, I, I rock like like the football owners. If the contract is bad, then it's bad and we out. That, that, it's very different today. This ain't like last decade when you had to be locked in the contract, number one. Number two, add value wherever you go. So when you leave, you take that motherfucking value with me. A contract means nothing to me. Follow me? I'm on board. Fast forward, Spotify calls them. They wanna, they wanna, they want us to talk about a rap caviar playlist. They wanna insert topics for me to speak about candid under the guise of it being air quotes candid for no money or very little money. As the creator of this show, that's a problem. So Joe says, no. Know what they said? Fuck you, Joe. We'll do it without you. Know what Spotify said? Sorry, Complex. No, you won't. Mm. I'm telling you about a company that has now damaged a relationship 
with one of the top three streaming providers, creators, because I'm not talking to everyone. Everyone will not understand what Joe fights for. I'm talking to the creators. I cannot create a show and you sell the fucking properties of that show without cutting a slice to the niggas that make that fucking show possible. Sorry. That's not Joe being irate. That is not Joe. Uh, what are some of the adjectives that they say about me? They, they say I'm a nutcase. And granted, it's true. <laughs> it's true. However, when you get with the nutcase, you got to stick with the nutcase. The show only works because you're a nutcase. Anyway, they lose the fucking relationship with Spotify. They keep moving like nothing has occurred. In between all of this, they start to incorporate guests on this show. I did not build and create this show to fucking talk to guests every day. I hate fucking guests. Now that I'm unemployed, allow me to speak freely. I hate all of you niggas. Every last one. Some of my friends that know and love me can attest to this. Am I lying here? Do I want to talk to any of these niggas honestly? No. No. Complex slash Verizon, though. In month one, month two, when they see the numbers, because these people are so numbers based and fucking focused on algorithms. I don't check the numbers for this podcast. Know how I know it's moving? Impact. Am I lying, Rory? You are not. But within that, you have, how long was your contract? How many months? Because I know you're saying fuck the contract if you don't like it. But I'm just going to play devil's advocate here. If you signed a contract where it said you get paid this much amount of money per month, we get to control the ad revenue we bring in. That's why we're hiring you. Great. So I can see now you wanting to walk, say, fuck that. You made too much money off me. I'm not doing this again unless you renegotiate and I get a percentage of Nike Vapor of the Spotify bullshit. Well, Rory, where we are, let me, let me, let me respond to you so you save some breath. Where you are, this is the renegotiation. Mm -hmm. This is the end of the contract. But I'll ask you, as your friend, what me. did you think walking into that contract? Of course, it was a new experience, and no one knew exactly what it would be. Complex is going to complex, man. They're, they're a huge media corporation backed by Verizon. Like, that's what's going to happen. I thought, <laughs> if you're asking me what I thought, I thought that Complex would recognize what academics and myself as outside entities and vendors have done for that conglomerate and at the end of the contract they would show that they have appreciated the best year that they have ever had more subscriptions than they've ever had more audience this is saying now today yes today today okay no more i'm a on that side i'm saying when you walked into had. this my our show increased numbers for all the shows that's mm. what i'm saying so, yeah, when it's no, time, how YouTube works. so when it's time to renegotiate, let me tell you people something. I like to live in the future. Like, as a creator, I try to be ahead of things uh, just because I ain't nobody in real life. <laughs> so, I mean, if I don't beat you to the punch, then I'm not going to get a glass of the punch. Right. So I try to do that. You cannot, you cannot, let me, and let me say again, you cannot... You cannot not acknowledge the creators and compensate the creators. And if I were a poker player, I would be willing to move all of my chips to the table to say I'm not the only creator that feels that way around there. So I get that. But here's also, where Rory. Here's where we are. Every label, every like this is nothing new. Where the where the company always thinks they're more important than the artist. All right. Let me help you here. The world's the, changing. The, the world has changed. Oh, labels, I'm agreeing with y'all. I'm just the, the playing labels, the other side here. Even the, even the labels today, Rory. It, like, go talk to Nipsey. Go talk to all these, the labels today. You know, so, I mean, I know yeah. what you're doing. The labels today have to play a different game. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is incompetence on the side of whoever is making decisions. I don't know. As a creator, though, the most important thing for me is the correct home, right? Very early on, I recognized that Complex may not necessarily be the right home, not for the show, but for Joe. Right. Yeah. I mean, let's, well, Joe. let's keep this all the way funky. 
as someone who knows you and and knowing this show, just yeah, you and Ak. I think Charlemagne said this to Ak a long time ago. You was dumb for doing that. You could have brought all your YouTube viewers by yourself and did your own thing. And of course, it, it's grown now. But I think going to another, we don't have to name names of different media outlets, but going to another one, who says you're not going to run into the exact same fucking thing? Oh, you almost certainly will. So I, I think it's to a point where fuck all of them, grab act and do that shit on your own. I that, pitched that a while That ago. seems like a very easy solution. Easier said than done, of course, but when is something that you own by yourself I ever su- easy? I support act in getting every single fucking dime that he should get from that building for the services that he has say, rendered. Say whatever you want about Ak. Ak brought a lot to that show. He brought a lot of viewership you to that show. You're fucking right. He brought a whole different opinion that no one in this room could ever bring. Right. You could disagree with that well, opinion. No, he was valuable but even if... It was like, some shit that none of us believe. Even if he was hateable, it was... <laughs> but val- it was a was debate. Well, well, we yeah. both were hateable. We right. both yeah, are yeah, hateable. Yeah, exactly. Which exactly. made That's the dynamic why, so but good. But we didn't hate each other. Right. That's why it worked. Right. Here's the thing with Ak. Ak has made his empire from youtube by himself which is also an amazing thing that i'll always give at credit for forever but but my point is for for him for a 26 27 year old young man who already did his own thing Mm. to worship and idolize some of these entertainers like we all did coming up and to now be in a position where you get to meet some of them they know your name. Mm-hmm. They're addressing you. Which right. we, we've seen. That is a big thing. Yeah, 100%. It, I am not that way, and it means nothing to me, and I don't want to kick it with nobody. Right. However, I don't expect Ak to hold that same stance. Well, yeah, because if it was you and you know 10 years ago and it was Prince and Michael Jackson, and you know what I mean? You'd... Hey, like I'd have lost my you know fucking. I'd have lost like, my fucking mind. Right. I had a heart attack. So I don't. I don't I'm not mad. It's terrible that, that Lil Pump is Michael Jackson in this story. But I go mean, ahead. yeah. Was, <laughs> let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, Lil Pump might be Michael Jackson. A lot of people. Word. I think he got like three million followers or something. <laughs> but but so I don't expect him to do that. My 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 train of thought is always one of you know I can do it myself. Right. I I can do this alone. If whatever pitfall y'all are about to provide i can just go and rock i have the capital i have the audience my my thing is always cutting out the middleman always yeah i'm not sure that even though axel or axel audience is bigger than theirs damn near or or the same uh well not not complex's entire audience not, something no, as whole. niche as everyday struggle yes, of course yes yes yes, yes. i would that, say axe is, is probably close to the same yeah so listen man it was just you know what bottom line but is no I'm, need to get to into too you, much where just so we can get off the the you and Act thing, I I really have no idea what you and Act's relationship really is. Have y'all talked about this since this negotiation has we talk, happened? We talk every day. Okay. We we talk every single and day. And before giving away any cards, say what you will say and say what you won't. Where are y'all at in an agreement there is, on where this is going next week? <laughs> oh, I have I have no idea. Joe has nothing to do with anything happening mm-hmm. with that show currently or uh, how they broadcast. Okay. I support Ak in whatever it is he is attempting to do, because he earned it. Yeah, niggas earned it. I don't think I don't think niggas is asking for more than they have earned. That's all. So I'm not gonna get too much into this right now because I mean, niggas is telling me I'm trolling. <laughs> right. I mean, you're a troll. We're, right. we're, yeah, I didn't think I was that big of a troll Sometimes you until do. so many people were telling me, "Nah, Joe's back. He's taking paternity leave." I've been telling Ian for three weeks, don't you dare book me a paternity leave. You got to want to get out the house for a couple of seconds. I mean, it, it would be a great uh, new way to start everyday struggle. You, if pre- they were... you pretend to beef and then come back <laughs> and then everyone watches. Yeah, all right. So, but all right. See, but that is my thing. Let's get cliche, back. Let's get back. Cliche into marketing struggle. strategy. Let's but. get back into business. Wouldn't be cliche because I have seen that nan marketing dollar spent on this show all year. Whatever. Well, I, I.e., the marketing plan being your timeline. Yeah, yes, you'd be yeah, correct. It's, I mean, let's be very clear. The way that this show is marketed and promoted, it's Ian's Instagram. <laughs> my Instagram. Ad's yeah, I, Instagram, I always thought that. Complex Instagram. Thought that was a little weird that they. Like the way they pump the breakfast club in the city, they don't do with y'all. Somebody in that company 
has to be bright enough. And I hold iHeart and Verizon very close in companies. Right. <laughs> so Somebody. it shouldn't be something that's crazy to ask. Right. Somebody Not in to that the company. degree of Breakfast Club, but, you know, something. Something. You have to be bright enough to recognize your flagship show is your flagship show, number one. You have to be bright enough to recognize the impact that your flagship show has had less than nine months out. Right. That's important. I don't care about what, what losses you think you take. I don't, care, I don't care about any of that shit. I don't care. What, what I'm finding in corporate America is a lot of these places act as boys clubs. There's a boys club in Complex. As there is in... I'd what you mean by boys club? Say any entertainment There's a secret industry. society of people that are taken care of. It's back to when we say the labels play musical chairs. Yes. They just hire yeah. their friends. You just hire your man. Yeah. You fucking, you know, each one teach one all of that fucking bullshit. Sure. As vendors, though, Ack and myself are not in that boys club. So at the end of the contract, what did you think was going to happen? Right. The fact that nobody, everybody's confused, it speaks to negligence it speaks to people who have no idea how to handle this why would i house it there <laughs> right you're not i'm not gonna not be credited not be compensated not be made to feel good be treated poorly and then fucking just laughed out i had my baby friday sunday ian emails complex to say no, no need to worry about a thing. Joe will be there bright and early on Monday. Know what they hit him back and said? Uh, in receipt of your email, Ian. <laughs> First of all, in receipt of your in email. In receipt of sounds your Sounds like email, some bullshit is coming. Word. Joe's newly uh, expired contract is indeed expired. We have moved on. Uh, if Joe was to come to work, that would be awesome, but he'll accept this rate of pennies and biscuits. My question to you gentlemen who know me well, tell me how I could go to work now. You not. Tell me. I mean, it would go against everything you preached on, yes. that, on that show. Yes. <laughs> right. Tell me how I could do it. Hey, here's another plot twist for you. Know what eliminates all of, the, all of these money and financial and all of these concerns? Your sales team. Your sales team. If your sales team could sell anything, we wouldn't have a problem. Everything would be great. Sorry, Complex. You cannot continue to tell me that Out of Bounds is more profitable. You cannot continue to tell me that Blueprint is more profitable. You cannot continue to tell me that Sneaker Shopping is more profitable. Guess what? Even if it is, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's not my job to sell ads. Right. I could call fucking WME and go find a fucking ad sales team. But we do a million a day. Right. You can't sell it? Something wrong with you. And you're telling me it's my fault? Right. I take the hit. The boys club wins. Nadeska, all of these people up there that are in this exclusive club... When Joe and Ack perform well, you niggas get bumps. Right. Joe and Ack do not. Right. Joe is new to this uh, employment game, but one thing Joe is not is a fucking fool. <laughs> yeah. Somebody stop me when I'm saying something incorrect. Y'all protect I me from myself. But I, I, it's similar to, I just have to give your full, it's similar to what you did at Def Jam. You were an employee at Def Jam. They gave you a lump sum of money that you owed back. It's it's the same thing. It's not no, really. It's not, it's not it's really, not Rory. The, the end result. Nobody is, the same. is buying the a end Nobody is the on same. Def Jam was buying a Shanti's album because Joe Budden came out. It's not the same. It's a very. It's a million yeah, things yeah, different it's, it's, with with a, the scenario. A record label situation. Same like end alone. result. Nah, nah, it's the same really. boys club. Rory, it's, it's the simil- same. It's the same club. marketing. Some people fighting for the artist they want to fight for. Come on, it's the same boys club bullshit. It's the same end result. Of course, it's different because you're selling music and selling content. It's different, but right. it's the same end result within the workings of that company. I'm glad you said that, Rory. It's the because, same. Because while I think your example is, is a false parallel, what I will say is this. Our show would be the equivalent of putting out a hit single 
every day. <laughs> a new one. Right. Wait, and let me hear. Wait, don't say a word yet. You're the label. I come to you with a new single every day and it pops. It's a smash as the label. You haven't spent a dime in a year. Plus, the other thing, too, is sometimes your biggest shit is... They haven't year. spent a dime. Sometimes, right, sometimes your complex... Biggest- the complex boss does the sneaker shit, right? I don't know who the complex boss is. Someone very high in complex does that. Joe LaPuma does sneaker shopping. Joe LaPuma is great. Shout out to him. Great, great guy. Great piece of content. And too. sneaker Watch shopping is great. Time. Okay. So Jay Z was the head of Def Jam when he was there. Who is the building fighting for more? Jay Z, their boss in the boys club, or the guy that always yells at them and berates them and screams at them and speaks poorly of them? Rory, you got to. I, I see what you're doing, but because I want to keep this conversation on track. Let me tell you how they're looking at it. And quick, let me quick tell question: you. Were, were were you in negotiations? No, there is there there has been zero negotiation. Uh-huh. This has been Ian and myself at Complex for the past five to six months, trying to figure out what would be happening at the end of the term, so Joe could properly plan his twenty eighteen. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Rory, let me let me let me. I feel where you're going, but but let me tell you what I think. I think that some of these other shows that are whitewashed, and I think that some of these other shows that don't have the loud, uh, tattooed, mm-hmm. uh, black mm-hmm. nigga, I think some of those other shows are easier to sell, Rory. I do. And, I do think that and you could outs- sell outside of outside of the obvious of that. It's who we're, we're all human beings. People that work in these companies are human beings. They're going to work harder for the people that they like. Quick example: Dame Dash ran up and down those Def Jam hallways, saying the truth all the time. From everyone who I think in this room comes from the same place and moral palette that Dame did. We agreed. Dame's but Dame moral pissed. palette is a lot higher than other people. Yeah, and Dame went and told the truth all up and down those hallways, and what happened? People didn't want to fight for him anymore, and that's how the corporate shit goes. That's why you have to play the game when you do that bullshit. I agree. I mean... You, you have to. No, that's, I don't. I'm not playing no game. Then don't play I'm the not, corporate I'm not, shit. I'm then not, don't play the corporate I'm not, shit. Not, that's not, I'm not saying play the corporate you know game. I, I'm agreeing that people kind of receive Joe the same way in the that example they did. that they receive yeah. game. A lot of people don't... You know, particularly like Joe. You know, Joe is very on his own and, thing, and, and both his- both people coming from a place that matters to this actual culture, yeah, integrity, and not with these people that are hired and sit at their desk all day that don't appreciate it come from. Yeah, and those people are there for a paycheck and want to be in a nice yeah. environment, and that's not the environment that this culture is from. I mean, in all in all honesty, Joe is just fighting a losing battle. Which is Whoa, why I think wait, it's the wait, corporate wait, shit. Wait, 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 corporate, wait. I'm, 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 when, I, when I say that, it's because. The, I, I hear your, your stance and, and everything that you're standing for and things you're fighting for, but you're outnumbered. All right, let me stop you there. So let me make my stance very clear. I heard Stephen A. say this not too long ago, and he echoed my sentiments exactly. My number one priority when I, work in, when I walk into work every single morning is how can I make my boss way more money than he's making? And number two is once I do that, how can I make more? So I understand that. And that's why this is a bit confusing and befuddling with complex because I didn't ask them for a lot. Mm-hmm. I wasn't asking for much for what also, I, for, I don't for think what that's I your type did. of mentality. What? How can I make this other person more money than me? Well, in corporate, it, it become, it, beca- it became, it became that. That is corporate. My, my very first day on the job, I told you what I did. Which, which IE is now why we're here. Cause that's not you, which is an honorable thing to be. Well, that, I, I'm well, coming up why. with all this. Of course, complex did they think because all those visuals look great. It takes a it takes a lot to film something that early, cut it, and then put it out. Man, let's give is, complex some some credit. I'm there. not giving That's complex difficult. credit for shit. There are a grand total of 15 <laughs> people that work on that show. <laughs> Back to my point. There are 15, why it ain't no, your mentality no, no, to do you, that. <laughs> no, no, this is where we go wrong. This is where we go wrong. I opened that building every morning. I was the first person there. Well, you up at 3 a.m. anyways. But that's why I'm the... F- <laughs> I take pride in... And, you know, there's some little things that I take pride in that I was unable to showcase rapping. Like, 
being on time, being involved in shit, like, you know, really seeing shit through. Well, yeah. And not- rapping, you know, you go in the studio, you make your album, you put that shit out, the fans like it or they don't like it. I mean, right. and that's the end. That's the end. And now you go right back in for the next six, seven months of your life and, and hope that they, nah, nah, let me be clear. At no point have I thought about rapping again. <laughs> but that's the problem. That is the thing. I don't, to get in business with Joe, let me let me make this announcement because there's a lot of niggas I'm talking to and there's a lot of people that are talking to me. I don't, I don't, I'm one of the creators that don't navigate with fear. I'm not afraid. <laughs> right. I'm, I have no quarrel in my ability to create. So when you come talk to Joe about anything, Joe, any business related to Joe, Joe needs to see that you are as invested as Joe. Know how Joe sees that either in time, 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 length of contract. Let's think sports. If I'm a franchise quarterback, you're going to try to lock a nigga up. Time or money or equity or something, something. There was zero effort on the side of Complex or Rich or Noah or Sean or anybody up there to try to get this done in a in a in a applicable uh not applicable what's the word I'm looking for uh I don't know the word because I got a brain freeze but in a in a in a correct manner none sorry I take my business elsewhere I'm out you will not do that Joe does too much on the ground floor. I'm sorry that some of you gentlemen are unaware because you sold your company to Verizon and now you don't give a fuck what happens at Complex. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, if, y'all sure, really wanna, if y'all really want to talk about it, that has zero to do with Joe. I am not in that boys club. I received not one red cent of Verizon dollars. Who the fuck from Verizon going to tell Joe what to do and talk about and say, and, huh? Joe's under contract. Man, it's Joe at the end of the day still. Which is why we're here. Joe, Joe, <laughs> Joe, I, I need no help feeling empowered. I need no help feeling like I can do it on my own. I'm not afraid. God has been in control of all of this. This 2017, which was a great, yeah, man, hold up, man. Round of applause for my 2017. This was a great fucking year. In unemployment, I project 2018 to be far greater. <laughs> mm-hmm. No doubt. I'm not worried. Uh, Every executive in seventy percent of the executives have hit my phone to say, "I'm I'm playing." You did the right thing. You and I have spoken on the side about. You are fighting the good fight. Do not let up. That's what they are saying. They're also executives. Complex had those two, and that's who you had a problem with. No, Complex had Verizon executives. I'm of the belief that complex, there's no such thing as a complex. I believe that Verizon is calling complex shots, which is why smoking in a bathroom and paying this little insignificant amount of fucking money for the services rendered. If there were hip hop culture people in charge, there would be no conversation to have. Look on your fucking socials today. The fans can't believe it. (laughs) No, I couldn't believe it. I saw (laughs) I just, I mean, in in closing, that corporate shit, if you're not pleasant to be around, they're not going to want to continue to do it. For example, uh, I want to say it was Neil Brennan, I was watching an interview, he was saying when he picks people sometimes for movies, it's not the the best person. It's the one I can spend a year around. I mean, I mean, and this is the thing here. And this is, and that's all, where a lot of corporate shit comes down to. You, you name it, they white want people. people they want people, uh, and Verizon isn't white people. But, but, <laughs> but, so you're missing the greater. <laughs> just, you're missing the greater conversation that I'm attempting to have because you keep talking about white people, and I'm. Well, that's saying, why we're here. I know. At this, at the end of this, I know. What do you think the next step is? You and I have had conversations on the side. I'm playing devil's advocate here in your point because I know. I know you'd rather not be with them in 2018. I know all the plans you have that we won't talk about here. But what I'm not saying as devil's advocate here. No, but that's not my point. (laughs) What I'm saying is this. That Jeezy interview happened on Everyday Struggle, right? 
And geez, and and you know what? Listen, I want y'all to go back and retroactively look at a lot of these everyday struggle episodes. For the past five, six months, I've been sitting in that room on that screen using every instance that came up in hip hop to directly relate to complex academics and myself. Now that you have that information, it's beautiful how it all played out. But let me go to that Jeezy interview because Jeezy is the nigga that looked at me and said, this is when I was, uh, you know, questioning his relevance and all types of shit. He's the nigga that looked at me and said, listen. When the fucking, when it, when it ain't there, it ain't there. You do what you got to do. Ain't no complaints. The beautiful thing is when it ain't working over here, it's great to have your people mm -hmm. to say, whoa, you down, my nigga? I got you. Your people to say, whoa, what was the problem over there? They didn't understand your mentality, what you were saying, what you were attempting to do for this culture. Hold up. I got you. So let me point out a few things. Man, I man, I'm really appreciating the text messages that I am receiving from Charlemagne. That's number one. My biggest fucking adversary, uh, damn near, uh, to you know, perception wise. When you get down and 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 I won't say white people because I love white people, but when corporate people, we know, we know you talking about when corporate when corporate people just start treating you like you ain't shit like you the scum of the fucking earth like you gum on the bottom of a fucking tin no 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 not joe my my dignity my int how i sleep at night is important to me tomorrow i'm flying to miami to meet with somebody i'm gonna tell you how this unemployment shit is going to go I'm going to go talk to Puff the same way I was talking to Vice, the same way I was talking over here, the same way I was talking to Russell, the same, the same way we was talking, the same way we talking to Ty, the same way we talking to everybody. You got to have your ducks in a row. We sort of writing on the wall. This jig was up ages ago. <laughs> ages, ages ago, when, when those Friday episodes came with these, these guests without Joe, where we're trying to sell and Joe might stop the money. That says, oh, we're trying to replace Joe. Yeah, 100%. We're looking to get rid of Joe. So what do you think happens today as of late when Remy comes in there and says, wait, Joe's not shooting, I'm not doing it. When fucking, when all of these people come in there and say, wait, there's no Joe, I'm not doing it. That has to be respected somewhere. Somewhere. Or we out. Or we out. So, UPS, <laughs> what's really? You know what I mean? Free, they have really good benefits. Free, freestyles during the drops. My baby, my baby is great. My baby is great, and he is awesome. Damn, how did we get into Everyday Struggle without playing Everyday Struggle? I mean, Y'all are trash. Yeah, we can, so well, you. we just yeah, we jumped into it. That was you. Listen, my, we can end with it, maybe. What, no, no, it's it's over. Listen, my, I my, did like how you started that the way like ex girlfriends start. That I'm fine, I'm good. Look at all the stuff I have going on over here. <laughs> but other than that, I thought that was really good. I thought you, I think you didn't show that response. I didn't show it, right? I think you were pretty. Was good I respectful? There. Yes, I think you were. All right, was you I? You got everything I was out. Sincere, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that this would be such like a media whirlwind. <laughs> it's like a big a whirlwind. Deal. Yeah, what, what's wrong? The with fuck you? is a whirlwind? <laughs> Rory should really get a dictionary. <laughs> what a whole, a whole, the whole whirlwind. Whirl. Oh, I, I said it wrong. You saying so? So now that you got all of that out the way, I knew they was gonna get rid of your ass. <laughs> I tried to tell you, niggas wouldn't listen to me. I said they're gonna get rid of your ass the moment they decide. I was trying to say it nice on. small by saying he was tough to work. I with. knew it. I tried to tell you niggas months ago, Joe, your ass is out of there. I knew it. You did tell me. I did. I did. Did I believe it? No. No. I, I didn't got, believe no. it either when I read it on your social media. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm like, nah, they ain't. So then when you got here and you saying all this, I'm like, wait, this is real. And you're like, yes, nigga. It's like, I'm like, oh, okay. But I knew it. I mean, well, thank you, Maul. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Well, why'd you know it? Because Joe is wild. Not that you're wild. Joe I just, is crazy. I just Joe is a how, lunatic maniac who right, can't be those, controlled. All of those things, but you got to understand that, again, corporate, they don't, as soon as they find yeah. a way where they could remove you, because they look at it like we should be thankful that they let us in. Yeah, they there wasn't, mentality, there, I ain't gonna lie, there wasn't real you, arrogance. Thank for bringing that up. There wasn't yeah. real <laughs> arrogance. Yeah. Uh, in, 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 yeah. It was hurtful. They feel that way. I know. I, I want to be very clear. Uh, I, I want to be as vulnerable as possible. I was hurt. I was disappointed. I was saddened that 
I had put so much into building something for the year and it was so recklessly mishandled. Mm. But I mean, one day we're going to get Ack up here and he's going to tell you that I said all of this way beforehand. I said you can have a hit and fuck it up. Yeah. Like that's easy to do. Yeah. It's- but Mo, to that point, and I know we have our Honey Palooza jokes, but the fact, the meetings that we've taken with these liquor brands and they have that like, where you should be thanking, yeah. we should be on your knees right now begging to meet with us and I'm like yeah. dog we do your job better than you yeah I'm, I, everyone on your marketing team at Hennessy couldn't do one fucking thing we did right cause y'all don't understand this shit and then yeah, we should be begging y'all to meet would you go suck a dick well that's what I'm saying somebody at Verizon had to know that the ad money that you solicit with Joe and the ad money that you solicit without Joe are very different bags mm-hmm. they're different bags so at some point, if you want to keep this ship rolling, you have to negotiate that bag. You cannot just keep with the same bum ass bullshit offer that niggas turned down five months ago. Right. Where did you think we would be at five months later? <laughs> yeah. The arrogance in how they negotiate and how they treat view and handle talent says, fuck you. Right. Well, the funny thing about crunching numbers, too, is they look at these other series as maybe more profitable, but there's a thing called Lost Leader. Lost Leader. Which maybe you might This be more is expensive. a Lost Leader. Right. They right. should know what Lost Leader is. I would think that they would. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the biggest shit that you do is not the most profitable thing that yeah, you do. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I You won't. may look at some content as a year-based thing and other things as a 10-year thing. Right. I'm comfortable losing money for the first three years because right. I know past the five year, I'm making that back plus triple. Or maybe I'm not making shit off of this, but this is bringing, bringing so much in more, attention yes. to me that I can make a lot more money over here doing. Mm. Well, the, the good thing shit. about all of this is, yeah, yeah, this podcast yeah. every week I take a loss. Right, mm. I take a loss. Guess what? So, right, one day <laughs> <laughs> this will make sense. Right. <laughs> right. It just makes sense. I I don't know, man. I don't know what y'all want me to say. I'm trying to be respectful, so I'm gonna shut up and, and and fear that I might say something that is not respectful. But I'm not angry. I'm not angry at anybody. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm so thankful and glad that I have my people to help help me through this and keep my morale high as I stare at my beautiful, gorgeous newborn. Hey, I'm catching some heat for something I, I tweeted. That was crazy. What is wrong with these people? Yeah, what did you tweet? Did. What did you tweet? I tweeted parenting. It goes a whole different way when you love your partner. Why, why did bad? why did people I, take that? <laughs> I have no clue why that caused such an uproar. Because it's so obvious. No, I think some people oh. took it as I was I was trying to be funny and disrespect my first my Trey's mom, and I wasn't. I wasn't trying Trey's, to be shady. Trey's mom would probably say the same she thing. She would. She, she said it in front of every judge she can get in front of. I, would, I never loved this nigga. <laughs> so, I mean, how come the woman could say it the second I say it is slander? No. But, you know, this is my, and I'm only speaking from personal experience, this is my first time doing it a different way. You know what I mean? Mm. And and it feels good. It, it feels fucking awesome. It felt good to be at the hospital, me, Rory, and my dad, Fucking sitting there crying, ch- chopping the shit, just in, in, in anticipation of this new child. It felt good to be in there. I wasn't in there uh, the first time. It was a C-section. I don't think we were allowed to be in there back then. My mom says that's a lot, but whatever. Uh, I was in the room. I was able to support her. I was able to get cursed at, yelled at, <laughs> fucking... Yeah, yeah, she was fucking. It was horrible in there. I wanted to tell her to watch her tone, but <laughs> <laughs> but she, she was bringing life into the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 but I mean, you had to kind of like. Hey, understand. you don't have to say all that. Yeah, I mean, come on, that sassy, that, right, right, giving me a lot of spice, right, right. School. I'm trying to take the wet rag off your forehead, right, right. And it's falling, but I mean, whatever. You did this to me, all of that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you I was, did this. To I was, me. I was really proud of sin, man. I was really proud of sin. Once she learned how to push, that baby came right out. Mm. God bless. And that was a process. Man, I didn't know that women had to learn how to push. Yeah. Come on, don't get into this conversation. I'm not, no, 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 no. Rory, Rory. I told you I'm not to only, do this on the podcast. Only, yeah, my baby told me. I'm only <laughs> that ignorant when I'm home. And I know. No one can hear I, I will not say that again. <laughs> Thank God. But! <laughs> no! 
All right, fine, I won't say it, because Sim will kill me, and I'm not going to say it. But, yeah, once you learn how to push, that was beautiful. Baby come out, screaming, healthy, he's gorgeous. I don't I don't think, I, you know, I'm a little biased, but I don't think my baby had to do that whole baby marinate thing where you got to wait nine months to see how your child's going to look. Mm. Oh, man, my boy looks good, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. he, look, he looks great. You know, a lot of kids look like aliens and shit. Oh, my God. This didn't really look like an alien. He looked like a human. Mo, you think when you have a kid, you're not going to look at his dick and see what's going on? For sure. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what the I'm first saying. I'm looking at on my baby boy. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. My nigga was, you know what I mean? <laughs> he was all right. Um, so he has Sin's eyes. Let me break this down. I think he has Sin's eyes, my face, my nose, Sin's mouth, Sin's hair. A lot of sense. She really contributed. Joe's beard. <laughs> she really she contributed. No, nah, she did a lot. Yeah, did she, he have that, a beard? That was a wild Puerto Rico trip. He have a beard? Listen, no, but he's got mad hair on his back like Ian. <laughs> like so Ian. that says that the beard is probably going. The beard going, will be there for sure. It's going to come soon. Give it two weeks. It'll come in. All of, Let me tell you something. Shit. All of this new. I don't want to say it, but it was kind of. You know, like if you had the shadow. After you don't shave. Yeah, the shadow. Low, yeah, yeah, it was definitely coming in. I did think he had that fresh out the pussy beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like damn, that nigga got a lot is of that, little. Is that a known thing, Joe? A lot of little the pussy chin hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, that's what I thought about my baby. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up to say how proud I was to say how Rory was a great friend and hung out with me at the hospital uh, and how I missed the revolt party. Uh, and that's that. This is awesome. Oh, and Four Moms, that brand, the brand, Four Moms. That, that is a great brand. Man, air horn for four moms. Air horn for four moms. Yo, let four, them cut the check. We four moms really products are making shit really fucking great and simple and easy over there. I'm loving it. My baby's a sleeper, not a crier. It's God lit. Bless. Yeah, it's lit. I, I couldn't have chosen a better partner to do this with. Hmm. Baby, I love you. We're raising a king. We're raising a king. It takes a village. Y'all bodied Ice's old room. <laughs> Ice, don't have, Ice's room is the baby ah, room now. That shit's yo, so funny. Y'all bodied Ice's old room <laughs> is funny, but nobody knows it. Ice room is hard now. <laughs> yo, yo my, new, my, my newborn has a better room than all of us. Really, that room, I guess that's how it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck it. It's fun. When you guys going to do it? Oh, they, they, right. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, yeah, my newborn is applying right. some pressure over there in the Rory household. <laughs> Hell no. Rory trying to move, oh, wait a minute. Rory trying to move into some uh, deluxe penthouse and apartment in the sky like the Jeffersons. Swag. Yeah. Yeah, I I unemployed. Swag. Mm, I might need to put up the lights at Henny Palooza. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, I, should, I actually want to record the podcast there, but we'll talk about that way later. At Henny Palooza? No, at the, the new Jefferson. Who would hear apartment. anything? <laughs> Oh, at the deluxe apartment in the sky? Yeah, I think I think it'd be kind of sexy up there. No homo. Racism brought us a lot of our favorite sitcoms. True. I only say that when I think of the Jeffersons, because All in the Family birthed a lot of great sitcoms. One being the Jeffersons. So how do black people feel about liking some shows that were stemmed from racism? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta appreciate it. I mean, out of some bullshit. Do we like All in the Family? Cause I watched it, but I didn't know that they was I mean, racist. You, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As you get older, you realize how racist it was. Hey, but but he was funny. He was funny. He was definitely funny. He was definitely. Is there funny. such thing as a funny racist? Here's the thing. I th I feel Where like black people. I feel like black like sitcoms can be racist too towards white people. Like we we say a lot of jokes and things that only we as black people would respect and understand and. Get, and I can see how white people watching the show would be like, well, damn, that's kind of, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. it. It goes both ways. I get it. I get how, like, white people can watch, like, an all-black sitcom and feel like they're the outcast. Like, damn, like, we not invited to this, like, I know when we don't for get me it. and when we it's not understand. for me. Yeah, but that's, that, that's kind of the thing with All in the Family. There was, like, mm -hmm. white people that totally get, understood it, and, and, and it was, you know, they got it. It was because it was for them. And us being African American, we were kind of like, "Well, damn! Like, that's how they feel." So it could be the same for us. Like, well, y'all hate y'all hate for us is a little bit more understanding than our hate for y'all. So. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So this gets gets us into a real interesting conversation. Was different that. strokes had a little undertone? Uh, oh, I not under. I mean, because it was like like you know adopted. It was definitely some Harlem jokes in there, more. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I'm not really going to blame Mr. Drummond because he treated uh, Arno and Willis much better than a little white girl. 
Yeah. Round of applause for motherfucking <laughs> Mr. Drummond, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that white girl was in like three episodes. <laughs> yeah. We never saw the daughter ever. Mr. Drummond was a real one, man. It's crazy. I and that was, that was, Arnold nice was the only one last standing. I feel like Willis and the, the white girl died like two years after that show. I feel like, yeah, all of them niggas died. Like, Phil quickly. Drummond might have died during the show. Yeah. Rest in peace to all different strokes niggas that died. <laughs> Different strokes, all, niggas that die. All the different actors. <laughs> all the different actors from different strokes. All the different, different strokes. Folks. All, all, all the different folks. With different strokes to Wait, move the world. Look at me right there, body and my sports commentating. <laughs> Boozer got some type of perm in his beard or some shit. Yeah, you hating. Um, what else is really important? What, what, what were we just now talking about? Something good? Uh, not really. Uh, our guy, who's not really our guy, we just like to say his name, XXX Tuntacion. Oh, come on. They're getting him the fuck I, I, out I, of I, I, whatever, didn't, I didn't get fired from Complex to, <laughs> to no, no, come I was to trying my to make podcast it, and talk about I was trying to make you feel better and more no, in your element. No, That's no. definitely your element. No, it's not. See, and that's the other thing. Hey, to Maul's point, this is how you knew I was getting fired, too. Just because, what? Am I staying in the fucking complex to talk about this kid? Like, honestly, <laughs> at no point did they ever say, you know what, let's throw a topic out there Joe wants to talk about. <laughs> Yo, at no fucking point. But anyway, now I'm sounding bitter. So they brought over. Ninth Wonder just to shut you up. I love Ninth Wonder. That's my guy. Shout out, shout out to Ninth. Oh, let me tell you, people, air horn, hold up. Ro- Yo, what the fuck? The computer knows I got fired. <laughs> what I'll say is this. Oh, Tony. Hey, Tony. All the complex people hit me. Uh, uh, what were you just saying? Uh, I was about to say something important. Yeah. Ninth was the last thing you said. Oh, Rory's trying. To, Rory, Rory made me call up good old Just Blaze. Yes, I did. Good, good old Just Blaze, who Rory and Just Blaze begged me in a Coney Island parking lot <laughs> to perform "Pump It Up" at Henny Palooza. I love while Just, just Blaze is DJing. Know what I told Just Blaze? Fuck you. <laughs> no way. I'm not doing a fucking thing. And if I do it, I want a favor back. And I'm never getting a favor back. He said, nah, I got you, my nigga. He put that beat on. I went up there, performed it. And God damn it, I'm still looking for Just. But Just is very busy, and I love Just. So, Rory made me call Just Blaze, man. He's trying to get one of these Glory freestyles out of me. But He's the Joe Button get... version, not the Jay-Z version. Wait, let's play Glory. We're, do I have Glory? I don't think I have it. You could YouTube it. Uh, I'm, not, I, I'm not YouTubing Glory. <laughs> 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 Why don't I have this song? I, was I mean, hate, who has that? I was hating iTunes, on, though. I was hating it's on definitely a, it's, came out. Glory is a YouTube song. I was you like, know? really, nigga? You gonna rap about your fucking new child? <laughs> <laughs> and now I want to do it. Way to go, Rory. Not this type. We would need an angry hey, Joe Turn, turn this up a little bit, man. Let me see what Hov's talking about. Baby, I paint the sky blue. My greatest creation was you. Is that blue? Yes. Yeah, blue looks blue. perfect. Glory. Oh. All right, well, I want to hear the whole thing. We're get shit out of here. <laughs> this was your request. I didn't want to hear this shit. Because I, had to rem- I didn't have a kid. I'm reminding the people that you claim. that <laughs> I wanted to remind... That's not funny. I wanted to remind the people what this song was in case they were unfamiliar with fucking uh, B-Side Hove. Mm-hmm. Glor- Glory is hard. In the event that Just Blaze could send over something soulful to make me love my family even more than I already do. I'm Just said he said uh, on I'm the phone said I got something for I'm you. I'm gonna try and do it, man. Listen, so blow you, up both they mentions. No, no, no. This is where you fucking <laughs> white hipsters get it wrong. You, hey, listeners, leave Just Blaze alone. <laughs> leave him alone. I'm sharing privileged information with y'all. If y'all go hit him 20 million times, guess what won't happen. Right. This is going to happen, by the way. Yeah, let me tell you what's going to happen. I will never hear from just again. <laughs> Leave that nigga alone, man. Jesus, niggas is busy. Anyway, uh, what else is really important? Oh, Chinks, 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 rest in peace. Rest yeah, in man. peace, Chinks, Chinks, and his family and his loved ones finally got some closure. That we, was we, big. We hope, we hope. They uh, were for, for now. Yeah. For now, right? For now. Mm-hmm. I mean, shit. If you watch Lisa Evers... <laughs> She's pretty much given up all the information. I mean, oh, no. I want to say there's before, more, more will be get, revealed, but... Before we get into the serious topic, I do want to talk about reporters. And I love... Lisa is a legend in New York City. Love you, Lisa. I love when That's, reporters... That symbolizes love. <laughs> <laughs> I love when reporters stand outside uh, the fucking precinct and when the, the person's getting brought in. Why did you do it? Tell us why you did it. No, come on. Come on. Like, tell us. Like, yeah. why Why did you shoot him? Yeah. Like. Lisa, 
Lisa. Every reporter there. The young man is well, not going to stop. <laughs> oh, well, now that the camera's here, let me tell you, let me admit to this whole thing. Lisa, finally somebody took the time to get my subversion of things. <laughs> it's like, what, what did she think is about to occur? Yeah, why the two cops are escorting him. And also, why was Lisa Evers the only person there? Also, why I love Lisa, because Lisa typically is the last person to, I don't, to I don't, care about I things that we care about. I don't think she was the about. only reporter there. I think she was the only one. She there. looked like she was the only one. I don't think she was the only one there because it was a couple videos that came out and it was definitely like other voices. Yeah, no, but Lisa's no. great because Lisa cares about the things we care about and when Lisa other has, people don't. She has mad voices. Yeah. She, <laughs> <does>. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to fool them niggas. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> she came back when they brought her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, don't, well. I don't know what that girl was talking about but why'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all. So listen, these two gentlemen were apparently already locked up. So yes. boy, were they on a crime spree. <laughs> like, yeah. You think you would kill somebody and chill. But no, I know that's hard. Crazy, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can tell with Rory, Rory. Hold up, man. <laughs> no, 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 Rory. No. The only issue is uh, we be outside. You don't be outside. We, we have to answer to these things. <laughs> no, it's debatable that y'all be outside as much as y'all say. Because all on on all malls, little insta lives, he ain't outside. I never record anything outside. <laughs> I don't. I'd be mad, please. Knock on wood, because I, I don't need, want to put things in the world, but dying on live has to be the worst way to go out. I need a drop for every time Maul tries to be mysterious. <laughs> I never do any recording. Watch his back. I don't. I never been outside before. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm always outside. I just don't I've never been outside. Nigga, whatever y'all doing, Maul ain't doing that shit. I That's never breathe. Right. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> when you breathe, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, man. What, what the hell are we talking? Oh, Chinks. Chinks, Chinks. Yeah, yeah. All right. We can't ask Lisa how she found these gentlemen, but. I mean, shit, she found well, them. Well, the cops did. Not Lisa, Lisa heard about it. So the story is, for anybody that missed the, the Lisa Everett special, is apparently uh, one of the gentlemen was an up-and-coming MC, and he hated on chinks. That's all we got. And they were performing at the same venue, and the gentleman... They, they said, followed Chinks for three weeks waiting for the right time to do anything. They said it was some old jail beef they had, I think. Yeah, I heard that too. Now, I take all of this stuff with a grain of salt because when the... When How the, old could it have... Wasn't the kid 26? He was like my age. Chinks was in jail. I was, wasn't was of age to be in jail. Well, it was two guys that were arrested. Okay, I thought they were both around 26, 27. I mean, they might be. I don't know. No, one was one was older. Okay, maybe one was, was twenty six, one was thirty three. That would make more sense. Chinks is how old? Somewhere around probably in the thirties. Yeah, yeah, so early thirties. That, that sounds about about right. Um, I'm just glad that 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 this is over. You know, too many times we we have lost somebody in hip hop, and we it's never get any. Gun. We never get closure. Yeah. So so the fact that you know I want to commend Lisa Evers. I want to commend everybody who really stuck with this case when. It could have easily been forgotten about because that's what they like to do to us young, successful black people. Yeah, ever since I talked to Puff, I'm just been sounding like black excellence, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie, y'all. I'm feeling like black excellence, y'all. You know what since I think it was? I, I, think, I think it was that IG story that you did when you was like, I'm awake. I have the same 24 hours as you. This one meeting done next to the next one. Yo, let's go. <laughs> I think maybe he saw Rory. that and then realized that maybe you was of the cloth Rory. of the of the Ciroc boys. I have never said. What if you get to Miami and Puff just wants you to be a Ciroc boy? It's lit. Which Ciroc? <laughs> <laughs> Which Ciroc? That's important, bro. That is Ciroc, if it's French vanilla Ciroc, Ciroc melon. I'm not going to get in every picture with French and Puff. Nah, he's going <laughs> he gonna, he gonna to make you your own Newport flavor yeah, Ciroc. <laughs> Menthol Ciroc. Menthol Ciroc. For when you can't get a smoke and life's a joke. When, when, you're, when you're in the complex office and they won't let you smoke in the bathroom, you can take a sip of menthol Ciroc. Menthol Ciroc. When you're in complex, but it's pretty complex. <laughs> Have you some menthol Ciroc? Every day should be a struggle. <laughs> Drink menthol, Ciroc. <laughs> Wait. <No. laughs> Every day shouldn't be a struggle. Yo, you should write Yo, jingles. I should write jingles. Yeah, Yo, you should be like a cool seen, jingle guy. Have you seen the Ciroc commercials when they all in tuxedos in Vegas going to all the cool spots with all the bad bitches? It's going to be Joe and a bunch of people in Ferox going to fucking Dunkin' Donuts getting coffee, pouring it into their... <laughs> coffee flavor Ciroc might be lit. 
It's going to be me and the owner of Melody <laughs> <laughs> dancing in Melody. Hookah flavored yeah. Ciroc. Oh, my God. Ugh. Hold up now. That might be. No. Yo, now Rory better than everybody. Oh, many a nights uh, Rory was saying pass the hookah. We was just no, smoking no, no. hookah yeah, still, last whoa, whoa, weekend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. Look at this nigga whoa, now. Whoa. You hear him? I still smoke hookah. I'm not drinking hookah flavored Ciroc. How do you know? Because I know. I don't drink Ciroc, period. Hey, I thought I wasn't getting fired. <laughs> Listen, me, bro. Me neither. Hey, one day is safe for you. Next day, you never know, my G. Um, so yeah, they caught Chinks as murderers. I'm really happy about that. Round of applause. Uh, do y'all want to get into this net net nu- 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 nutrition? I'm still trying to figure this shit that out. That sounded like you was trying to do your own new Joe Button drop. I got a lot of uh beefs on Twitter when I asked about what it was. Because white people are ba- supposed to know what it is. Basic. Uh, I mean, I, I, I was going to ask. I read up it on it a little bit, but I mean it. it from what I read, it's been around for years. We, it just wasn't a big thing that we spoke about. And it's just basically saying for certain services with Wi-Fi, we might just be charged more to receive faster Wi-Fi. Like, oh, again, so they fucking with the creators again. Yeah. like That's yeah. all That's all. basically like, I, from from what I read, I could be wrong, but that's what I took from it. Like, you're going to, they're going to charge services for faster Wi-Fi to companies like Verizon. And they're all taking a quality away from the internet. Potentially, now. potentially. I, I personally don't think it's going to make that much of a difference because all these companies make too much money off the shit that's happening on the internet. Even if they aren't making money, like Twitter, for instance, or Facebook, they're not about to start cha- charging for Facebook or Twitter. People make too much money off that, yeah. corporations included. Yeah. So it may make some mm. changes. I don't think it's really ultimately going to affect the end. Well, I, I think, think, I think Twitter has been trying to find a way to make more money. That's true. I think this is another thing that's just going to affect bigger corporations more than it's going to affect us. I agree. Which is why the corporations are beefing about it. Right. I don't think it's going to really affect. Well, them. I was ask. Uh, I was asking Rory the other day. You know, Netflix tweeted that they stand with the creators and they're against this. Uh, and I get that. But Netflix and Amazon and these companies would stand to make more money if what if it went through or if it did not go through. If it did not go through, I think. I think the the what it changes Even though they, is they that would be able to charge they could more. potentially charge like uh, Verizon or whoever could charge Netflix more because they use more bandwidth. Yeah. Then say because yeah, more Wikipedia. people go to it. Yeah, depending because on the bandwidth media, that you it's bigger use. Yeah. File sizes. Yeah. More bandwidth. Whereas Damn, before so they had the to charge we everybody like. the same. So all the sites we like, then they're going to charge us in taxes for. Potentially. Pretty much, yeah. And they're going to slow down your fucking Wi-Fi lane the same way. So, like, your Wi-Fi package might be... Trash. More, like, $4 more a month. My shit been going up about $5 a year, $10 a year, every year. But a lot of these stories, I'm seeing people like, they're trying to cut us off from the world, and they don't want us to speak to each other. Shut the fuck up. That's not what's happening. Yeah, word. I don't want to speak to niggas anyway. (laughs) But let me me tell you something. Listen, AT&T is the same fucking group of scum buckets that uh, said, well, if you... If you have your contract with us for a certain amount of time, you will be grandfathered in and you will have unlimited data and streaming for the rest of your life. And then they slowed everything on your phone down without telling you and then they just had to sue them. (laughs) So (laughs) what I'm saying is I do believe that data, streaming, all this shit, I've been saying for a while now, they're trying to figure this shit out. Yeah. Same way they've been trying to figure out weed. Right. Uh, and, And I know for some of you that has no correlation at all, to me, it does. Not to, <laughs> mm. to, to me, it does. Boy, I'm scared of the world that I'm leaving to my children. Mm. You they go, Jesus. Listen, man, the, al- the aliens are coming, so it don't really matter. Tell me more about that, because every time I've, I've ever mentioned the aliens coming on this show, Maul says, Tuh. And, and you say something crazy. Now I'm looking at some beautiful HD picture of a fucking... Flying sorceress look like I a, robot a, is a in there. Sorceress? Some, yes, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. What, what is that? that you're showing uh, me? The former head of secret UFO Pause. hunting program thinks that aliens are real, which is a wild headline. Former head of secret UFO hunting program thinks aliens are real. I would hope so. I, no. Yeah, that's that's what I, like that's a wild headline. Why were you hunting them if they didn't exist? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, we all know aliens exist, right? Yeah, come on. A lot of people don't think aliens exist. Oh, come exist, on. But All I right, well, the former head of the Pentagon's secret $22 million UFO hunting program says aliens may have already visited the Earth. My personal belief is that there is very compelling evidence that we may not be alone. All right, so who wins? The aliens or the robots in the future when we all go? 
aliens. Because that's who's going to probably have to fight. Because they have the magnets. <laughs> okay, Parks has been abducted before, obviously. He has <laughs> he has information that he is not willing to share at this Listen, moment. Man, once the aliens pull out the magnets, the robots are killing them. <laughs> once the aliens pull out the magnets... <laughs> Let's get deep. What type of magnets you got, bro? Yo, <laughs> big magnets. Hey, they don't appreciate that joke because they stupid. Yeah. That's funny. I'm telling you. The man. aliens are gonna pull out the magnets. Yeah. And then the fucking party's over. Wait, hold on. So when we were talking about us versus the robots, why we didn't come up with magnets? I did. It went under the radar. <laughs> Yeah, Parks did, but y'all was busy trying to kick him off the podcast. Right. <laughs> and I'm trying saying, to save the world. And, 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 yeah, <laughs> and y'all want to get rid of his mic. Y'all like complex. <laughs> God damn it. Me and Parks are trying to save the fucking world over here. You guys are hating. Uh, my money is probably on the aliens as well, depending on what alien it is. If it's the Stranger Things alien, the robots are going to stomp the shit out of that little 11 girl. Sorry. Listen, we we've Eleven. been fake. We've nah. been fake going to the moon. If the aliens come all the way here, they're definitely gonna be doper than us, and smarter than us, and have cooler shit than us. We're all doomed. If you could pick the year you were born in, don't use this to fucking show off your white privilege. But, <laughs> yeah, but this if, could go really weird for you, me. No, I mean even in the future, not really oh. more so the past. I guess if you could pick a year in the future, what year? What year would you? I'm gonna go, go with. To? The, I'm gonna start with the past because they're already trying to get rid of the internet, and I'm cool. I don't want to be around when the internet's not around. Uh, now Steve Jobs is rolling around his grave. <laughs> I don't yeah, fucking get rid of the internet. Do y'all uh, remember what I, I would have liked to like be before? around for the Jesus era? Would have been curious. <laughs> I might have been in the Bible if I would have been like, "Hey, stop!" Like he's kind of dope. He's gonna do all this great shit. I would have tried to go then, like the day he was getting walked to the crucifix. Nah. I would have right. been like Saint Rory later on. All right, and y'all would have prayed to me. Because he'd be like, that's the guy that stopped Jesus from doing all that shit. I will never ask Rory another question like this again. Ever. Ever again. Let me ask one of my black friends. Ma. Ma. You? Me what? What year would you go to if you could somehow preserve life? That and wasn't I, your initial question, by the way. You just said what period well, of time you'd want to go to. And then, I, and then you answered with some stupid shit. And then I said I was <laughs> thinking the future. And then you went to the past still because <laughs> you fucking got kicked off the track team and don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's what, that's what, what year would this. I go to if I had to preserve life? Like if you could go somewhere, and in my brain, I still think this is a possibility that we could go and freeze ourselves and then un, be unthawed at a certain point mm-hmm. and be fine. Why can't we do that? I saw Austin Powers actually. too. It's cold. Man. That was a funny joke. That was, was funny. It was cold. Yes, cold. but I'm. I'm yeah, I need more than I that. Think your org- I need I more mean, than that. They, we we they, would I die. They, I don't think they have a way of being able to keep your organs and your brain going and your heart and all once that they shit. freeze your body. Like all your right, brain, see, that's confusing. Would, your brain would stop because no blood is flowing through it because your body is good. Hmm? Once good. your brain stops, that's it. Everything should stop. I think they should figure out a way to turn everything back on, though. Yeah, but that's once the brain. And I don't know that they haven't figured out a way to turn everything back on. I'm pretty sure they're studying the brain to to do that. But they just found some shit that was mad old. I don't remember what it is, but they found something. I really got to start doing my own research on this. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, they just found something. It was old. Conspiracy theory podcast. I mean, to preserve life, you would have to. I think go to the past. No, because every everybody that's uh, offering us a bag for this podcast says that I can't start another podcast. Yo, I don't understand how people are making a fucking way in corporate America. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. I've been trying to get good business done. Everybody's giving me a hard time. Just get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my fucking Rockefeller chain. <laughs> Wait, so you'd want to go to the future if you yeah. could go to any time? Well, yeah. tell me how you'd preserve life in the future. No, preserve life today to maybe to, pop oh, up then. in the future is what I meant okay. to say. Uh, I would want to pop up in the, in the future. If if I had to pick up date in the past, I discussed this with Sin. She would definitely pop up in Woodstock. She is so mad that she was not at Woodstock. Same. Anytime a song from then, totally an outfit from Sin. then, see uh, Jimmy a drug from then. I mean, Sin the seventies. Like, oh my god, what time was that? 60s, 70s. <laughs> I mean, that all of that still exists era. though. Jimmy don't. The Coachella is kind of the Coachella kind of no, 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 no. Well, no, well, no. it's it's different because of laws and shit was free and and shit like that back then. Everybody was more, you know, what I mean, open with what they were doing and shit like that. But I mean, for the most part, it's it's typically the same shit though. You want to hear Travis and Scott people do and, and, and girls do dress like the seventies now. Women wear a lot of fashion from the seventies and the eighties now. Well, today is not Woodstock. <laughs> 
You, I mean, motherfuckers is popping pills, doing acid, all types of shit like it is. But they're not sitting on the grass doing it. Well, at Coachella they are. You're That's right. what I'm trying to tell you. I see it every year when pictures pop up from Coachella. Chicks is looking like they're trying to go back to the 60s and the 70s. I laugh at it because I see what they're trying to do, but it's just like, this is a different time. Have you ever fucked a girl from Coachella? From Coachella? No, I've never been to Coachella. Okay. I don't think I've been to Coachella either. I didn't know Coachella was such a big thing until Frank Ocean told us. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Neither did the people that's going. Yo, that's and why I hate way, these motherfuckers. And by the way, when he, when he said that, I was like, word, Hope performed there? <laughs> like, where was I when Hope was there? Yeah, like, people didn't know about Coachella until Frank Ocean said it. What do y'all think? But they about? can't fuck at Coachella the way they did at Woodstock. Cause that's what I'm saying. There's wild back STDs then now. Were more free, like, yeah. I think the STDs were wilder back then. They had no, like, no, no, no. Shit like Them shits oh. didn't exist. <laughs> Yo, wait a minute. What? No, there's a lot of shit. STDs popped up like shit. the 80s. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Crabs. We don't have crabs anymore, do we? No. I don't think so. Parks no, We don't have crabs anymore. No, but it's, it's more, it's definitely so. crabs it's more severe uh, STDs now than it was back then. Yeah, I'm saying. These shits is Back uh, then, anything you caught sexually. Resistance. Yeah, anything you caught sexually back then, you could get a shot. And now they got shit that they just going to be like, listen, man, this is your ticket out. <laughs> this is going to take you up out of here, bro. Sorry. You just got yeah. gonorrhea for life, man. <laughs> yeah, like, Ho- hopefully they can freeze your body and t- put you out in the future. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going down with that gonorrhea in the future. I'm not dying from no STD. That's trash. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, God. Go <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'll beat this one out. I would be so <laughs> tight. Um, oh, shh. No, no. We did that. If there's something really big that happened, pause. Uh, M's album happened. What do y'all think about the, se- the se- sell- sales of M's album? They projected at 250 to 300, something like that? That's, yeah. That's some, pretty low for him, it's right? It's somewhere around there. I'm yeah. surprised they're that high. Uh, Just being yeah, honest. he's projected at 250, 260 SPS, 180, 190K album. So streams 250, uh, actual album sales 180. So does that mean you add them together? I th- yeah, I think you add yeah, those together. You add them together. So that's like a half mil, right? Close? No, 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 no. No. Wait, no, no, you don't add them together. It's saying he's doing that, and the other number is the oh, albums. The per- okay, got you. The actual sales. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, he sold 50% of his number. Why did, why are you surprised that it it uh, did that much more? Let me let me hear it from you. I mean, I know how you have felt about the project, but give me some type of analysis. I didn't. I was. I'm. I'm shocked to see that in this climate, musically, that people still support Eminem because I don't think that he makes music for this climate and what people are listening to now, what people want to hear now, and you know, you we we're, we're we're our own program directors now. You know what I mean? Like we, you know, we 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 listen to whatever we want to listen to. We plug it into our cars, into you know the crib. We got Bluetooth in the house, whatever. Like you, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? We don't listen to radio anymore. And I don't think M is making music that people would want to play in their house or in their car. I even think down not to- not that many people. I'm sure people you know. Obviously, people have been tweeting me. They love the album. They thought I was crazy for saying it wasn't a good album. Mm-hmm. Which you know, music is subjective, and it's you know, it's it's your opinion. But I don't think that Eminem. I mean, I'm just I'm kind of confused, and I'm gonna stop saying I want to I want to stop saying music is trash when artists make music that I don't like. Mm-hmm. I want to start saying it's just not for me. Oh, because that's what some, I used to do. It's a nicer before way I got fired. It. Yeah, no, but, but but honestly, because some people some people really like the music, so I can't just say it's trash. Like it's just it's not for me. I don't see how people are. Listening to this Eminem album and liking it, it doesn't sound. Good. No, <laughs> yeah. no, honestly, yeah, this thing is crazy, that was the man. nicest way to say it's yeah, trash. Word, no, no, you no, body no, that. No, because when you when you think about everything that's going on and you listening to the the, the the music now and artists that are creating music and the sound, it's just Eminem just came in. It's like I don't understand. It. Like he came in and you grow and you change, but you come in the game hating pop music and pop acts, but then the last three or four albums. Your main records are with pop artists, right? Then you're mm-hmm. one of the greatest rappers ever, but you don't typically make rap music. Like, why isn't Eminem making rap music? Why isn't he on a Primo track? Why isn't he on a Just Blaze track? Why isn't that, he on a you know these real hip hop producers? Like, but that don't mean it's not rap music, though. I'm right? not no, but it, it not was that the, it's not rap, but it's more like pop rap. Remember when we looked at the track? It's more like rock I, rap. I like, said Eminem is kind of in the point where he's able to do that where he could go get with Redman and the people that we all know he actually likes 
except he's doing Ed Sheeran records instead. Yeah, like I just don't, I, I, don't, I don't get it. You know what I mean? And it's not saying it's, it's not, you know, the worst music I've ever heard. It's not that. There's a couple records just, on there that are cool. I just wanted to hear M actually make hip hop and make rap. Like me too. This rock rap with electric guitars on every. I just can't get in. I, that shit is too loud. I've, is I, I just don't want to hear that. <laughs> I've been waiting. I don't know where I would. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I would ever even play that music. Somebody, at. Now, sampling somebody, I Love Rock and Roll was Rory, insane. Rory took the words out of my mouth. That was insane. Somebody should have let M know that the Rick I Rubin. Love Rock and Roll sample has been buried and it's over in hip hop. Yeah, like if I wanted to hear that, I would just buy a Kid Rock album. Like I don't want to hear that from Eminem. I don't. I, you know what I mean? Buy a Run DMC Kid Rock, album. Kid Rock can't go like him though. No, he can't rap like no. But I'm just saying, if I want that, the, the music, the sound, that type of buy yeah, a Beastie, the Beastie Boys, Boys album. Yeah, like if I wanted that, you know what I mean? When I hear Eminem, I want to hear him get off on some real hip hop. But shit. I think that's M's way of paying homage. And and I, and I say that to say like like pump it up for me. I got clowned for pump it up, and and it was the biggest song of my career. So they kill me for it. But when I first got that beat. Boy, I thought it was hip hop. Mm-hmm. Like I was on some hip hop shit. Scenario, oh, pop it up scenario, but because of how it performed, yeah. it's seen as a joke. So I'm just trying to see if I can make that correlation with M because we know M loves the Beastie Boys, right? Yeah. <sighs> For him and the Beastie Boys, hip hop. Mm-hmm. But today, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. The music. It's know. just the music. I don't know. It's, I don't I think can't. Eminem has ever made the album he wants to make. Mm, well, give me more than that. Why you say that? I I think when he got with Dre, he was at a point. And granted, Marshall Mathers LP classic, Slim Shady LP, me personally classic, but not everyone say that. I think those albums he did. He was with Dre. He was gonna follow Dre's lead. I think he likes that music. That music is amazing. But M has never given us that. We know he's the biggest hip hop nerd in the world. M has never made a hip hop album. And to me, this point, the same way I said with J four forty four, he could finally do that vulnerable shit as an adult that he's always wanted to do that he did on that album M I thought at this point could make that album that he's always wanted to make as a rap kid since he was 12 I don't think that's fair I though. think with with Infinite when he was rapping like AZ he was having more fun than he ever had before I I think it's hard to say that he hasn't made the album he wants to make because yeah. he's per, like especially the in between what was Encore and the other one, oh, the Eminem uh, show. Yeah, he he made all the music himself, I believe. He produced it. Oh no, no, but he was in. He had to deliver to a whole new audience. Now, he was still at the height of his career where he had to deliver to the pop world. I'm he, pretty sure he Eminem's, didn't have to do I, this I, I on think, this. I'm pretty I sure think, Eminem's doing what he I wants. I think to yeah, do. he's definitely making the music he wants to make. I don't think so, but I think that it, he's I think in, he said in the Beyonce in that Beyonce song. I think he was saying, "I don't want to do this shit." Yeah, but I feel like Eminem is so big of an artist. If he doesn't want to do something, he's not doing it. I disagree. Eminem with my point let's being be clear, that Eminem song. doesn't have to even put out music if he doesn't want to. Eminem don't have to do a fucking thing. Let's of course, be, let's right? Be, of course, so, no, no. Let's so, be all the way so, clear. So, so, here. But he made he an album. Studio, so I'm gonna speak to making music. Yeah, but if he goes in the studio and makes a record, that's not fair. It's because he wanted to make that record. I just think that M's ear is not with you know he's not listening closely and paying attention to what's going on right now with music mm-hmm. with the current sound. And I'm not saying you gotta change and adjust to the sound, but you gotta kind of sort of. Cater to where people's ears are right now. I, yeah, I don't. I don't even necessarily agree with that because there's plenty of successful people that are still doing sound. Do you think sound, older sound or whatever it may be? I I haven't even heard the album because I don't want to. Uh, it doesn't cater. He's to like a, a superhero. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really cater to anything. Of yeah, but I, the way I, I feel about this, M. Do you think Hove went for what people in 2017 right, exactly. want to hear? Exactly. Because I don't think he did. No, but but, but Hove is just still, that great. The music was still. It was good. Audible. It was still something that you would want to hear and listen to, like just the music. Well, I think the greats don't have to listen to what's going on. I think they can just create Whatever. in their own space I'm, I'm, I'm and it, it be the narrative. Like Kendrick, Kendrick does not, I mean, damn, he did a tiny, tiny bit, but Kendrick don't sit and listen to what is going on. Yeah, no, but the music Kendrick makes the sound. But the music is still current. It's still like, you know, what people are listening to. Like, of that, course. That, that but Kendrick's Love Me also record is like 30 and M is 45. Wait, why? How do I know Kendrick doesn't listen to the other new music? No, he does. Damn, no, no, of course he does. Damn, he definitely showed that. I'm saying he doesn't making... sit and and listen to. All right, when Pimp to Butterfly came out, he didn't listen to what Future was doing and go, "Well, I guess this is what the kids like." So no, yeah, no, this. that's not. It, but what I'm saying is, he made the his music, own palette. Like he's making, like Kendrick is blending genres. He's making jazz with mm. you know gospel, hip hop. Like he's blending music. Mm-hmm. M, Shout out to Terrence Martin. It, to me, M just sounds like he's just in a garage with his boys. That he has a band and they're just making music and it's like he's just rapping over that and it's like 
I get it. To some people might love it, but me personally, I don't want to hear that from him. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you what I what I thought. I thought that, and, and this is why, you know, I'm never mad at, at anything that happened with Slaughterhouse because for me, as someone who truly loves uh, Royce and M, I'm talking about as a fan, so who, and I love them as humans, uh, Royce is family to me, but for someone who is such huge fans of them both, the Slaughterhouse deal, I was made whole from the fact that M and Royce were made whole through that deal. Let me say that. That's that's really important. That's one. Two, for me, right, I thought that that relationship would have really helped M a lot at that specific time. Eminem has been Eminem his entire life and career. I think we're here today because when you are one thing for so long and you pay no mind to uh not pay no mind but you don't actually attempt to grow it or do some things differently you reap you reap the you reap what you sow here Royce is very in tune with things and I'm not saying that M is not because I'm unaware but Royce is very in tune with things artistically musically with production with pockets he's just very in tune with with what's current and I think M was kind of banking on, uh, again, I don't, I don't know Eminem personally, but this is just my point of view. I think that that whole freestyle at the Cypher shit going at Trump, I think that was a marketing, marketing well, it was. plan. I think, I think we got that. I think he was yeah. banking on Trump responding. I think he was banking on getting into a back and forth with him. You know what I mean? And and it, when it didn't happen, it was kind of like the music was already recorded. So it's like, yeah. well, this is what I got. <laughs> and, and to that point, and back to the album sales, I think M not a, M doesn't rely on a single, but he does rely on holy shit. Eminem's making music all the way down to the most recent with "Love the Way You Lie" with Rihanna. Like you walked in every department store and heard that. M didn't have that this go round. I don't know he if he thought he did with the Beyonce record. Yeah, he I did. Mean, he did. He did. He did. I'm saying he didn't have that this time, so he kind of falls back. And I think a lot of the people that were buying those tens of millions of records ten years ago grew up. And I don't think they live on the internet. I think they well, have that's families. What I'm saying. They don't want to hear that. I don't think that. they even know that. I mean, of course they know M came out, but they're not rushing the way they used to because it's not an M takeover. You don't hear Eminem everywhere anymore. You know what else was disturbing to me? The same thing I'm saying about Royce. I thought that when Kendrick started to dominate, that something different would happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being in house, and I mean, let's look at Dre. Dre, who I think is one of the most brilliant minds we've ever seen in music. You know, I don't think, we've said before, I don't think it's a mistake that you go from fucking NWA to uh, Snoop to fucking... Your own um, shit. To you. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> right. yeah, you. We only, I don't even name Dre when I think of all the people that Dre... Right. You. Right. Uh, the Chronic. And, Snoop, you, the whole West Coast, right. M, yeah. Dog 50... Pound. And then Kendrick. I mean, in no order, but what I'm saying is I thought that it would be the relay race past the baton, kind of let's get this let's get this going now too. Let's use this steam to help this steam. Each one teach one is what I thought. And, you know, Kendrick just skyrocketed to a, a different level and then it was it was just different. It was, it's, it's, I don't I also know. Think, I'm speculating here, of course. I also think All Dre we do looked, is speculate. <laughs> I also think Dre saw the great people around Kendrick. It wasn't like he was like, all right, well, I need to keep this kid right under my arm or this could get fucked up. Like he had a really good team that knew exactly what they wanted to do with this kid. Let me provide some great music in the meantime. If y'all need some guidance, let me know. I don't don't think Kendrick was in need the way maybe Snoop was in need. Just being some kid by himself. uh, We share a stepbrother as a friend. Introduce me to Dre. All right, teach me how to actually make choruses, all that. I think Kendrick had a really good support system around him. So I don't know Dre was as needed at that time. I think that the Eminem we're witnessing now was when we saw Mike at the tail end of his career, Kobe at the tail end. He has flashes here and there, you know, where it's like, okay, but... I thought you were talking about Michael Jackson. No. But even... Michael Jordan. It's kind of like, eh, I don't want to see him, you know... 
continue to put this type of music out. And it's for that reason you just named it. I have I have I have yet to listen to this album. Yeah. I tried to listen to it leaving the hospital with Rory with Rory. I was trying to listen to M's album and Jeezy's album. And Rory just hated on everything. It was like, I did do, not. do I have to hear M right now? Do I have to no, hear Jeezy right just now? Jeezy. You're having a baby. Tried to You're having a baby right now. We were listening to Jeezy. I didn't feel like listening to Jeezy. No, M was on first. <laughs> oh, well, I don't remember that part. Because I, what I will say, while I haven't heard the album, um, I heard that Believe record and and I felt good. Uh, what was the other record? He had there, some there's, cre- there's a, he there's had some there. creative ideas on there that made me feel really good about how he creates okay. and his brain. You know we, what I mean? We spoke about one specific record. Uh, if you want, to, if you still have the Rory and Maul have substance. I don't, uh, hopefully, I'm trash. <laughs> Man, that, that will never be there again. Uh, there was a really interesting song on. You could say, <laughs> no, Rory and Maul. Say what you will about oh, wait, not the even, music. No, no I, Maul wasn't Maul, talking, so that's when I just cut it in half. <laughs> there's a record called uh, Bad Husband. <laughs> no, which is kind of M's 444. <laughs> wait, new warriors. I know, track. that's the best part. <laughs> no, no, I cannot worry. wait till my cousin is sneaky. I can't wait till you have a kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a record on there called Bad Husband, which I thought was an interesting concept that probably hasn't been put into hip hop, where we all praise ourselves for being very, very good fathers but never good husbands. And while we always say like, all right, well, even though it didn't work out with that chick, at least I'm a good father, which tries to erase all the shitty things we did with the woman that gave us that kid. I thought that was a really interesting, interesting concept to do in hip hop. And it was a good song. I mean, it's, it's a poppy record, but M kills it. And it's, it's a topic that I don't think hip hop has ever talked about. Conceptually, M's and I think if Hove would have done one of those, which he kind of did with 444, but he went super deep. M went way, M M the whole thing. Uh, of course, with the Kim situation. But it was something that I think doesn't really get talked about. I, I think conceptually, M, M proved that he's still there. Uh, I think what it boils down to is, do you want to hear this style of music or not anymore? Um, and I'm seeing mixed reviews. I'm seeing I'm seeing mixed reactions. Some, some people are really loving the album. Uh, some people are saying it's not for them. I cannot give you a review because, like I said, I was afraid. I was afraid, so I didn't do my due diligence. I am going to go listen to that album. Um, I haven't listened to much new music yet, right? Is there any what else uh, other new music is out? Jeezy's, yeah, Jeezy album. Black. Did y'all did y'all listen to it? The Jeezy shit. Yeah, I like it. I like a couple records on there. That's I don't cool. like the entire project, but I like a few records on there. I like m- more records on there than I thought I would. I like it. Mm-hmm. I do. Um. Oh shit! Yeah, Black Thought. Like that's the other thing that's about the best album of the year. That, that is <laughs> <laughs> I mean yo right? if, if you were to break it down time stamp wise it's, it's up add in breaks between songs and hooks yeah. that might have been an album <laughs> I have listened to that Black Thought freestyle at least 90 times in its entirety Same. let me say that and um, I'm gonna listen to it more <laughs> <laughs> I'm, go- I'm gonna hear more that's the other thing that made me really upset about uh, being fired they had Ack and Who Kid break down the Black Thought freestyle oh, God. <laughs> If that don't tell you that Verizon is calling shots, <laughs> Verizon don't know that we don't want to hear Ack and Who Kid break down the Black Thought freestyle. Ack knows that. <laughs> Ack, if Ack, oh my God, I'm gonna bring the, Ack the on thing, this podcast, the, man. The thing about that Black Thought freestyle, I, amazing. Don't do it, no, 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 don't do Listen, it. Listen, amazing job. No, do it. I, he don't. That's do it. what Black. Do it. I'm just. It's just the 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 reactions. They didn't know more. Come on. Don't it's like the kids didn't know. Who didn't know? But they the still kids don't didn't know. know. Like I think that they they heard that and they're like, oh, he killed that. But they still don't know Black Thought. Like they don't know the roots. Like so when I heard it, I was like, oh yeah. I was more impressed by other things. Forget what he was saying. I was more impressed with his pronunciation, his his breath, breath control, control. His, I can't I can't speak cadence. ten minutes straight. His, yeah, like <laughs> the pocket that he was I was just he like didn't, he didn't, level words. He, didn't, hey, he yeah. didn't start sweating till minute eight. <laughs> yeah, like, that's that's what I was in like uh, shit like that is impressive to me. Like but what he was saying, I'm like, that's black thought. That, oh, okay. yeah, but, yeah, but, but we can't course, but we can't but, just say that because I don't think I don't think you're doing this more, but I do think this is the problem with hip hop fans and the music we love. It's expected. Yeah. Well no, not that Every time some really dope shit finally breaks out, we go from complaining, like, I wish the world would fuck with this, fuck with this, and then they start fucking with it. Oh, now y'all on this? Right, yeah, I yeah. think that's a problem as hip-hop fans that's true. that we do. That's Ma- true. Uh, Rory's right. Like, I feel like when we, fi- oh, fi- oh, now y'all on it? Like, <laughs> no, isn't, not, isn't this what you wanted? No, no, no. Didn't no, you want everyone? That's definitely what, 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 I, what 
you know, I would want to hear when you hear freestyling, but I'm just laughing at, you know, all of the people that's going to social media I was with too. it. I'm like, that's Black Thought. Like, who? I would have been upset if he didn't do that. Like, to me, that would have been, like, the, the shit to tweet about. Like, but, uh, no, all do praise and salute to what he did. But it's like, I was more impressed when Tory went up there and rapped the way he did because I didn't think Tory Lanez could do that. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of these people that are unfamiliar with Black Thought and what he does. Right. So they didn't know. I, I, they didn't I understand know, that. They didn't know I understand. I'm just laughing at the, the the storm that came after it. Like, y'all didn't already know that Black Thought, that's what he does? Like, yeah, there's a... There's well, no, people 20 people on my mentions right now talking about... Damn, well, I Black, never heard Black Thought. I never listened yeah, to him. Yeah, right. So. right. So. Black Thought had just freestyled recently at, at Sway with Method Man, and he bodied that, but it wasn't this. It yeah. Wasn't this this I, one, he made a very concentrated effort to let y'all know that we are not him. We yeah. cannot do what he does. And Absolutely. somehow making it look effortless. Completely <laughs> yeah, right. like effortless. Effortless. No, like, like alien scary type yeah, effortless. aliens do exist. Yo, the hater in me, and I'm glad that y'all said that because uh, following this next comment, I want to get to the alien list. Um, but as I was watching that as an MC, the competitive nature in me, you want to try to hate on it a little bit. So somewhere around minute six, I felt like the flow got a little <laughs> off beat for three bars, right? Oh, and oh then, shit, not, then the, it, not then, the three bars. Then the he kept minutes. going, and he, it was so dope that I had to talk myself out of the hate. <laughs> you know when you just hate, the hate is just unwarranted. I mean, like, Joe, the nigga said 30 million words in two bars just now. And only lagged a half a millisecond and caught right back up in the beginning of the first. Like I was analyzing it like homework, which led me to where do we where do we rank Black Thought? It's an unfair question. Don't answer it. Nobody answer it. Nobody answer it. The young people. Black Thought has classic albums. The Roots. Go do your fuck. You should Google. Damn it. I don't know. (laughs) Black Thought has classic albums. He has got recently. Recently. Not. Go back to the nineties. Yeah. Recently, is, he has got uh, hit singles. Yeah, yeah, multiple. Yeah, and he raps better than all of us. And he took live instrumentation, a live band, and made them pop. The best live band hip hop has seen. They're still here. They're one of the best live bands we have seen. Period. Period. Their They're still here, going. Yeah. Amazing. Quest Love just tweeted the other day. He was like, "Yo, the Atlanta airport is fucking wild." And I was afraid because it seemed like it was some terrorism shit. We got to protect Black Thought and Quest Love for sure. Uh, to piggyback off your point, uh, one of my friends was one of those people that was like, "I mean, you know, I always heard of Black Thought, but I was never big on him." Come on, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, low key. Um, and they were saying, it was like, nah, I, I appreciated that freestyle. I thought it was dope, but you know, I'm not the guy that just wants to hear all that rapping. I said, the genius of Black Thought is if you listen to the roots, he dumbs it down sometimes. He doesn't always do the super lyrical shit. Like, Most he's time, really honestly. good at doing melodic shit because he's with a live band. He has to go off all that. He can't just sit with a beat and rap. Yeah, he's an he has to go off what the band is doing. So Black Thought is much more of just that super lyrical genius in the sense that he can make records, yeah. like really good records. So let's get to what I call, and this is a list that I don't bring up or ever mention because it's you can't quantify, you can't, like it's tough. It's tough. When y'all, when y'all start talking about the best rappers to ever live, I'm aware that you mean in totality. This is an alien list though. Yeah. <laughs> The alien list supersedes whatever criteria you need for you to make that other list. Because the alien list, these people are doing things with words that none of us can do. Black thought, and and this is in no particular order. I'm just giving you the people and gentlemen that I believe to be true aliens. I will start that with black thought. Alien. He's on that list. I'm also going to put, let me put the bigger names on this list. I'm putting M on the alien list because he can do things with words we can't. I, on the I hate rap God, but I mean, I can't do it. That's an alien. <laughs> that's, 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 a that's alien. an alien yeah. type of record. I was mad he put that record out, but it showcases his ability. Uh, both Andre and Big Boy are on my alien list. <laughs> okay. Both of them are there. Interesting picks, but not mad at it. Both of them Andre are there. Andre is absolutely alien. 
I think big, big boys. I think big boy is an alien I've, too, though. I've always said it. We just don't acknowledge it because Andre's an alien I and guess. unicorn. That's what Big Boy quote, does I've things said, with big, words that some other people we just can't do. Big That's Boy true. is a phenomenal rapper that happens to be in a group with a unicorn. Lupe yeah. is on my alien list. Yeah. And cool boy is he high. Cool with that. Boy is he high. Uh Los is also on my alien list. Not as well versed in Los, but Save. I'll take y'all word for it. Save. Los cannot Los can I've, I've heard him rap and he was it was great when I heard it, but I'm and not well versed enough to say that he's alien. The things he does with words make him alien. I'm not saying his artistry is so great. Los just put a mixtape out though and it sounds pretty hard. So uh, y'all should check that out. But Los is on my alien list, right? Elzai is on my alien list. Not mad at that. Fonte is on my alien list. Royce and Crook are on my alien list. Yeah. Along with Pharaoh Monch to wait, lock I was this waiting, out. I was waiting for Pharaoh. Yeah. That that is where I close my door. I'm done with my aliens at that list. Hmm. That's hmm. interesting. A lot. Uh, all right. Those y'all, men y'all won't agree with me, but most is on my alien list from rapping and singing at the same time. He's an alien in just how he uses his inflections, his words. Most is an alien to me. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I wouldn't be mad at, at somebody calling most an alien. I wouldn't be mad at anybody's alien list. I just know that. Because most of get all that Umi say shit out the way in a second and then rap just as good as Pharaoh. <laughs> most deaf cannot rap as good as Pharaoh Munch. Ever. Okay. Ever. I want to be perfectly clear. Ever. Ever. And, and that's not to knock most. I think highly of most. Pharaoh Monge is better than everybody, probably except Black Thought, and he might be better I'm, than Black Thought if you have more time. <laughs> no, if, if we were to put, because I wouldn't put most above Pharaoh, but if we were to actually rank those, Black Thought and Pharaoh would be one and one A to me in that alien category. Mm, yeah. There's not many people that I mean, can rap like Pharaoh. Sorry. Pharaoh's probably number one on the alien list. Yeah, yeah one A and one B, him and Black Thought. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna that lie. That would be me. That's honest. That's honest. I still feel like I'll get them niggas a long day if I have enough time. <laughs> uh, Kendrick. Well, a half a Kendrick day. <laughs> uh, impersonates an alien sometimes. Yeah, he's a good impersonator. I don't think he's, you know, he's a great rapper. That was just a joke. I, yeah. I wouldn't put Kendrick on that alien list. His word he he raps like an alien. He, he does. <laughs> Kendrick is great. No, no, I'm just being a dick. And Kendrick is better than mad niggas. But the alien list, I mean, I, I don't, we don't hear Kendrick and say, all right, he's doing something with words that we're unable to do. Uh, big pun. Yeah. Alien. 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 Yeah. Alien. Yeah. One hundred percent. That's the end of my alien list. Let's. I, I would love to hear who y'all think are aliens, and I know that's probably a weird question in today's climate. Because <laughs> I mean, that's not really what we're going for. But and I like the fact the aliens are coming. I like the fact that aliens are coming. I like the fact that Black Thought has even introduced this. I like the fact. I like any time this becomes a conversation again. Agreed. I do. But I'll tell you one thing. He inspired. He did inspire me. He did inspire me too. And this is before I got fired. Before I got fired, I thought that Flex would be a pretty cool spot to go up there and just let niggas know, stop playing with me real quick. But I thought I wouldn't have the time to be able to write something like that. Well, look at that. Maul. Nothing but Maul. time. Maul. Oh, my bad. <laughs> we, we, we got it. We, we understand. <laughs> I have to take Joe to, you have to do your appointments with unemployment to get the money. Mm-hmm. So I got to take him, uh, what's your address? All right, yeah, I got to take you somewhere in that county. So you we know, can sit in the line. It's fine. It only take, it take a few hours. Yo, the Fill out your shit. shit. Rory's unemployment is way doper than mine. I don't even receive unemployment. <laughs> well, no, no, yet, I really got fucked today. in the ass, man. Hold up, man. Pause. I, really, I got fired with a newborn baby. Yeah. With no unemployment, mm-hmm. with all of my co-hosts working, mm-hmm. and it's my show yeah. that I made from my brain. Look how life works. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't let that run. That's craziness. Life is wild. That's a little wild. That's dis- is that is the utmost disrespect. That's more disrespectful than you just, could fucking Just don't get. ask us to borrow some money. You man. fucked up the Migos whole marketing plan with their record. You don't even work in the world. Oh, yeah. The Migos record dropped today. I know y'all don't care, because well, who cares? Wait, it didn't drop? No, they teased it. <laughs> They've it's, been teasing it for six months. Eh, listen, what do you want me to do, man? <laughs> I saw some clip uh, that it was at Rolling Loud. I mean, I was, thirty thousand people screamed your name. That was kind of. 
they fuck. I think they said fuck Joe Budden. No, no. And, and, and complex fires me. You can tell that's Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I don't know if this is more like the Dave Ch- Dave Chappelle walking I think the Verizon, away from all that money. I think money. the Verizon network in the commercials was bigger than Rolling Loud. So they went with that one. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the Verizon tagline? I wish I could remember it. It would have been a funnier joke. I don't know, because I think that old Verizon dude that used to have the 10 million niggas behind him, yeah, he went yeah, with yeah. the Sprint now. <laughs> Sell out. <laughs> that, that's trash. They get the bag. Oh, they, probably, they probably played him. <laughs> that nigga left his yeah, network. He knew his work. Verizon is playing <laughs> all worth. of us. They're playing all of us. Hey, Kings, know your worth. <laughs> <laughs> they may let him see you down. <laughs> They gonna fire me. I just hired my chef. <laughs> God damn, I was fucking up. Uh, I was hiring Matt. Let's new Chris Brown. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> Mad new employees around here that just gotta go now. Layoffs over at the Joe Button Network. <laughs> Wait, something else happened on uh, uh, musically. Is, was there any other new music to, to come out? Mm, Nothing I can think of. Savon, Roy, and I had a conversation about that new black record over there at Timbaland. Uh, uh, Timberland beat that I think is for a Timberland project, but I'm not sure because Black has not texted me to tell me. Neither is Justice, so I don't know. I think it's Timberland featuring Black. That song is hard. I don't give a fuck. How do you lose a game like this? The Pacers are great. Look at this. How do you lose a game like that? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, you know what I will say? Uh, what, what I will say is, and I hate to be this guy. Well, shit, wait, to, wait for Timberland and Black, man. Timberland got busy. It's nice to hear that Timberland can. Did he go still, back to his old bag? It was new Timberland, but it was st- it was still a good pop Timberland beat. Yeah, it was, I liked ni- it. it was nice to hear yeah. that he could still easily make the. It didn't. It yeah. sounded effortless too. Like it didn't sound like he sat for, you know, six months trying to put that together. Timberland used to be an alien as far as the programming goes. Yeah, and then them yeah. steroids. I don't know. He still makes great music. I just told you what just happened. <laughs> yeah, shoulders just, got too heavy. Timberland couldn't. popped up out the blue one day just with shoulders and that was fucking the reason, pecs. That was the reason Detox never came out. No, but see, but that's <laughs> you why. You what happened to Drake. That's why I don't respect it from Timberland. Dre came out first at the awards big <laughs> when they both was in their hiding hiatus. And now Timberland want to bite the Dre swag. So they didn't do a beat battle. They did a steroid battle, bench press battle. Does Timberland want to beat battle with Dre? No, but Timberland don't want to be battle with Swiss. I thought it was uh, no, no. Swiss is always with the shits. It was Timberland. Timberland on Instagram teasing all them beats that's gonna lose to Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> he got way harder beats, and don't ever think I'm shitting on Timberland because I'm not. And Pharrell wins all of this. Why are we talking about beat battles again? Credit they, to they, Celtics or blame. To- yeah, I wanted to get into mellow for a little bit because what do you think about this mall as as our NBA insider? They're struggling. OKC's okay, in trouble. I know, but tell me why. Because you was big on them. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what the problem. I think Russ is. You know, he's. I'm not. I can't blame Russ. Yes, you can. Still, yes, you can. I, I, yes, you why, can. Here's why I can't because I can't ever blame somebody that's still damn near averaging a triple double. Shit. I, I mean, you're doing everything. A triple double ain't gonna win the game. I mean, listen, you're doing everything. You're all over the fucking place. You're, right. you're being effective, right? Absolutely. But I just think that. People talk about Melo. Paul George hasn't really. Oh, don't do that. He hasn't played out of this world. He hasn't played Paul George like Indiana pace of basketball. This is why you eventually have to point to Russell Westbrook, who I will not point at because I love Russell Westbrook. He's one of my favorite it's his players. His team. You should and point I, to. Him. I think you could win there, but every player that they that was there that leaves there thrives somewhere else. All of them. I'm not just talking about Harden and Durant. Reggie Jackson, Jeff Green. Like, um, I wouldn't don't say Reggie do, Jackson man. is thriving in Detroit. He's uh, been to one playoff series and hasn't won a game. Thriving at, good as in team, he is playing well and has played well in that system since yeah, he left. I mean, he is Thunder. who he is. I don't. I forgot. Was, more, more don't like uh, <laughs> Reggie Jackson. I no, forgot. not that I don't like him. He can play, but I don't think that he thrived after he left OKC. I think he's the same player he was in OKC. He oh, was very okay. good off the bench for OKC. He, he's a scorer. But he hasn't done anything. He hasn't. When you keep letting people go and they keep performing other places as complex is about to learn, <laughs> that falls on them. Yeah, but I, again, I can't blame Russ. I, I think that, you know, it's still mellow is mellow. He's a scorer. He's not going to really do much defensively. He's not going to average 10 rebounds a game. Um, Paul George is, you know, he, he, he seems to just be trying to find his way. 
within all of this. Like he's so used to having the ball a lot more, and he doesn't with and, Russ. And where that Paul George shit gets crazy is Oladipo is going ham. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what Bria Mounds is doing to him. Yeah, but, but I mean, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph Oladipo's not playing. But that's what happens when now a team tells you it's your team. Yo, behind every good man, man, is a powerful woman, man. Bria got that nigga pulling up from half court. <laughs> You don't What's see some of the shit he you, doing? Man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why we got to do that? Though? Wait, but wait. Why uh, we got to do that, though? We don't got to do that. Paul, I mean, not Paul George. Oladipo was on the Thunder last year, right? Right. Was he doing all this? But he couldn't well, because I'm asking it wasn't you, his team. I'm asking you a yes No, 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 he wasn't. Was Bria at those games? No. But I think Paul, I think I think Oladipo would have been doing this with or without Bria. Man, man that games. nigga's in them cakes. It gives you it gives you incentive to kind of that, go that hard. That nigga is in them cakes because nothing pulling went, up from the other three point line. Yeah, all net. Yeah, because soon as it, it, I mean, going back to when you was young, when the bad chick walk in the in the gym, niggas definitely try to show out. That, Come that's, on, that's, you know that's been, Oladipo in there wilding. Yeah. First of all, Bria's in in Indiana. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny already. Yeah. I'm shutting up. I'm about to get in trouble. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Yo, Mo be knowing I'm about to get in trouble. Rory, save us. Oh, man. Save uh, us. Mace, speaking of people that <laughs> oh, rap. Oh, God. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> he did an eight-minute freestyle. <laughs> and killed it. Yeah, he did. Oh, oh, he did. Har- Harlem Mall. He, he did. He I didn't was, kill it? I was surprised. He dismiss Black man. Thought. No, about, I didn't yeah, dismiss word. Thought. I just knew that that's what he was going to do whenever he decides to freestyle. I'm whenever he decides to rap. I did not expect Mace to do that. I, I'm gonna no, be he, honest. He, he did, he I didn't expect thing. Mace to do that on that. He, Cos- yeah. he killed that Cosmic Kev shit. He definitely killed that. And I, I definitely, I mean, I watched it and I was like, "Dog, Mace hasn't rapped man. at a radio station in how many years?" Let me ask the fucking obvious question, man. Yes, he killed it. Doesn't matter. Too often niggas is killing shit and then we just say they killed it and you move on. See, that's exactly why I stopped rapping. You know how much time it takes to write one of the verses for y'all niggas to say. Yeah, it was hard. And now you're just and, going back to Are y'all kidding you know, me? You know what's really wild? I've never, Honestly. I've never thought about it that but way. But no, I'm going to tell you what's funny. <laughs> Rory, I was at, no, hold up. Boy, go ahead. I've I'm, never thought about how that the re- would feel. The reason why I understand where Joe is coming from right now, because I, I was just talking about the conversation we had a while ago where, you know, back in the 90s and early 2000s, y'all niggas could tour the country with maybe three rhymes. Yeah. Mix it. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. now when you spit something on Flex, you can't go to LA Leakers and spit that. You can't go to Cosmic Kevin's because they heard that already. Back in the 90s, niggas was traveling, the, doing the radio tours with three three verses. And it was probably the verses that was going to be on the album. I'm talking about some classic, some classic rhymes that we deem classic hip-hop freestyles at radio stations. Them niggas spit them shits on albums <laughs> they spit them shits at other radio stations so I kind of respect real writers and, and rappers today a little more because y'all have when y'all bust a clip now that's it like y'all write 60 bars now y'all can never spit that again Yeah, you know what I'm no, saying shit, so now shit. I salute that even Jones. more like yo that's because in the, in the late 90s early 2000s niggas was the same three rhymes and niggas deeming them couldn't wait to hit record on the tape and it's like, dog, he spit that shit for a year and a half, that same verse. Nah, you're right. Now, it's like, yo, as soon as you spit that 60, throw that in the garbage. You can't use that no shit. more. Joe's funk freestyle was fucking three records on Rage that never made it. <laughs> nah, I wrote, some of it I wrote <laughs> yeah, so a little bit because I had to write on, on the spot. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I was on Rory's Insta Live the other day and he was playing Hov's Grammy freestyle. And between Black Thought and that freestyle, I was really inspired to call Parks and come over here. But I know Parks don't be answering when I call him about rap. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> But I started to think, like, you know, that Grammy freestyle, you know, I showed it to Johnny and, and Michael Paul, a few niggas that weren't as familiar as us. Mm-hmm. Easily one of the best freestyles ever. I'm biased. Easy. Uh, to me, it's the Easy. best ever. But I'm biased. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, not, up there. It's, it's not up there. It's up there. It's up there. But... I mean, shit, we need a list with a few of those freestyles, man. Like, last decade when niggas was going up to the... Whatever freestyle it was when Hove told Flex, don't worry about the commercials. (laughs) 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 I don't understand. I don't think y'all really know the level of stunt that don't worry about the commercials says. Mm -hmm. When you say that to a radio station... (laughs) 
Right. No, but why? why As the all one? your goons are cursing and drinking. <laughs> what? Right. Now, why that Hove one is is the greatest though is because everything he said now Happened. now look in 2018. Yes. <laughs> yeah. To, every, to the T. He said and he did it. Y'all remember when Flex said he was going to end Jay's career? Remember no. When? Y'all remember that? <laughs> I no. Do, I do remember. <laughs> no, I don't. Flex was fucking going <laughs> crazy that night. Y'all say that, but I I, I salute Flex. I yes, Ben Flex. Flex is supposed to. to do that. I salute Flex. Flex. How flex. does Flex flex if he don't do that with that whole text, the whole that bullshit, the Drake beefing? Like, I give it up to Flex, man. Without Flex and his oh. shit, Hot gonna have a long fucking time. Well, y'all, yeah. y'all talk because I gotta. Find Especially it. when uh when Angie left, like Flex is doing what he got to do. Uh, Pete well, doing no, what this, he got to do. This freestyle thing, Flex is not. I mean, of course, Flex has always done the freestyle shit, but in this era. And grabbing people that are not popular and just showcasing people that could really rap. And I think this freestyle thing has been amazing. It has been amazing. And let me let me just throw I've, this. I've been put on to people in New York that I was like, oh shit, I didn't even know who this was. Let he, me throw this out there too. I've been trying to start that very same thing. I think more of it needs to happen. Mm-hmm. We need I mean, more. It's just great coming from Flex because when, well, at least when I was a kid and when you were in your early 20s, that's what we, we sat by the radio waiting to hear people rap on Flex. Yeah. So that was part of the album rollout. West Freeway Side. and Beans going up there to rap? Like, that's what we waited for. Westside Gunn just tweeted, he only watched that show for one reason, Joe Butt. Shout out to Westside. Shout out to Westside. Westside should have been on that fucking album. Uh, but yep. let, me not, let me not get into that right now. Um, I just but think, I've been, I've been telling, no, hold on and flex. Let me fucking play my uh, skin flute here now that Maul <laughs> just, <laughs> just told me about that tweet. I don't remember now, so go ahead with flex. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Uh, no, it's, it's, oh, I remember now. What I'm saying is, and I told Complex this as well. I said, y'all don't think it's like, it's like, y'all don't think it speaks volumes that I've been with y'all for all of this time, yet it takes all of these other people in all of these other buildings to fucking assess my value. <laughs> There's something wrong. It's something wrong that every exec in every other BT, every every building, if you do anything related to streaming, you've spoken to me this year. <laughs> you kind of have had to almost. <laughs> I don't get it. Tell me more about all what whatever you were saying, Rory. Uh, oh, we're talking about flex. I mean, that's past. Uh, I think your Green Lantern freestyle is up there. Yeah, that was a dope freestyle. My Green Lantern. But it was only dope leading. I mean, uh, was that Joe the Slaughterhouse Spick? freestyle? No, 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 no. no. That was dope when, too. When, when they kept you in the green room and you was mad. Oh. No, was the last day was over the last day's beat. Yeah, you was like, I ain't coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't come here to Polly. I didn't come here to. That's what you said, though. I, oh, and now that you say that, I want to bring back an old topic, slang that should be back. I really liked Polly. Polly was fly. That wait, was your wait, word. Paul, uh, that's why, did, why did Polly? <laughs> <laughs> wait, we can't Polly yeah, anymore? Polly is gone because you niggas like you want to build and link. Yeah, build, build and link. <laughs> build, I said Polly instead. Build and link definitely killed Polly. Yeah, these fucking sure. supreme I feel like I said Polly fucks. last week on this podcast. Yeah, well, let's keep it. You say, yeah, but depending on the company you keep, you'll throw out the, you'll say build, link, Polly I'll, connect. I'll say, I'll say link. I've never said build. <laughs> Me and the Rory connect. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't even Blow a fuse funny. you lose Half ass crews Get demolished and bruised <laughs> Me and Yo Me and the Rory connect <laughs> That's funny Um, That's very funny I'm off of this shit Y'all niggas did Christmas shopping Hell no Me uh, either No Alright <laughs> Alright well at least What are y'all doing for New Year's I'm not the It's amateur night I don't like going out on New Year's these fucking complex fucks. This was the first year I was going Christmas shopping. All right, man. I thought you was over it. No, 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 no. Now I'm mad. No, now I'm mad. No, now I'm mad. No, no, now I'm mad all over again. This is the first year I was actually going to Christmas shop. Because I don't buy, I don't buy like gifts. We, we don't, that's You're not woke. what we into on my family. And not that I'm woke. I mean, I don't know if I'm cheap or frugal, but I just don't like crowds and people and shopping. If we do Christmas shopping, we do it the day after Christmas or well, my family's just weird, right? Okay. This year, because I was so grateful to God and I had the best year I've had, I was going to do some Christmas shopping. Which means I'm gonna buy my mom something, my dad something, uh, my two kids something, and my wife something, and that's the end. I don't know now, man. <laughs> 
complex is the Grinch that stole Christmas? <laughs> Listen to me. The complex that stole how, Christmas? It's how do you? Shit. I don't. You know, I, I understand niggas now getting laid off around Christmas. I mean, I got a couple dollars, but God damn it, I imagine it's rough. <laughs> I mean, I and oh, actually, isn't gonna remember anything. Oh no, you won't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, Christmas, we we covered. Net yeah, New Year's. What what type of New Year's people are y'all? Uh, low key, but you know, get twisted. So are you, are you so, every, so everyday parks is New Year's park. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's a regular. Are you, are you dressing up? Nah. Does it change if you have a girlfriend? Because girlfriends like New Year's Eve. They want to dress up. Wait, what do girls want to do on New Year's? They want to dress up. Uh, put be a, with their boyfriend. Put a, yeah, put a yeah. dress on, a drink champagne, yeah. Instagram. Wait, time out. And time have out. sex after the ball drops. You gonna be with your girl on New Year's Eve? I'm not that whack. More you, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> wait, wait, hold up, man. I'm tired of that being. The, <laughs> whenever this true. About, all right. Never well, mind, who are you gonna be on New Year's Eve? I don't know what I'm doing. Exactly. On New Year's my Eve. point. Honestly, I don't have. I'm gonna any. try to get away from sending sending my child. <laughs> have some fun out here. <laughs> <laughs> the point of the child was so that she couldn't have fun anymore. <laughs> Not me. That's wild. Send it all the work, <laughs> and now Joe like I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. I need to go out. <laughs> Yeah, word, because she was hating on my break. You ain't break. carry a fucking child. Say, so I put it there. <laughs> hmm. How she was going to carry mad, it? Mad months ago. Yeah, let me shut up, because this way she get mad <laughs> if I say something ignorant and stupid, and I'm not ignorant and stupid. Um, I think we've done a good job covering everything. I don't think there's anything else that we are forced to care about this week. We got into all new music. I haven't uh, watched Kobe? a TV show in ages. Shout out to Kobe. Uh, Rory is not on Grinder. Corby, Kobe's uh, jersey was retired. Why is Lonzo Ball winking at me right now? What is this bullshit? It's the legends of Showtime. Lonzo Ball has a star on Hollywood. I don't know what I'm watching right now. The, the Lakers and Warriors are playing again Friday. Oh, my fucking God. I didn't see Larry Nance dunk either. And I didn't see the Steelers-Pittsburgh game. I don't know about anything that's happening there. I ended Rory's fantasy football career. Round of applause for that one. He's finished. <laughs> yeah. Wait, y'all still, y'all still play that little yeah. fantasy game? Yeah, sorry, bro. Joe got to square off in the yeah. finals. Nobody care about this shit. Y'all Parks children. and I are in the finals. Enjoy your fantasy world. Grow up. Rory, Can't believe y'all still play Rory this shit. Rory is such Grown a novice. fucking men. Last week when he spanked me Last by week. 40, he hit the group oh, chat shit. immediately. To say I was a bum, I was trash. Because you are. No, that wasn't about fantasy football. Oh, you still that was just. Do we you. have breaking news? Breaking news? Breaking not, news? Not good breaking news. I was going to save that for later. Let's but. see. Yeah, bad breaking news. Oh, man. Two Live Crews, Fresh Kid Ice, died of, I don't know this word, C I R R H O S I S. Cirrhosis. Cirrhosis? Cirrhosis? Uh, yeah, of the liver. I don't know what cirrhosis is. Could somebody look it up for That's me? That's when you drink too much. Yeah. Typically. I imagine that Fresh Kid Ice drank a lot. I imagine everybody from Two Live Crew drank a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. He passed away a while ago, though, right? This is this is not. This is Savon. He was passing the breaking news. I think this is just an update on how he I was over. also going to say, because I want to sound ignorant, I thought someone from Two Live Crew just recently died. As no, well. this, yeah. is, this yeah. is now the, uh, I guess, the toxicology yeah. oh, okay. report is out. The same way uh, Pumps came out, Pumps came out and they said he had all the drugs in the world. I mean, not Pump Peep. I'm sorry. That 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 is. I was not trying to be funny. Peeps came out and they said uh, that he had all the drugs in the world. And um, I don't know. All I can tell you guys is be careful. Be careful. But if Joe didn't tell you that, then you should turn on the news and know that uh, all these niggas are fucking creeps. They're passing tax laws. The president's really from Russia. I mean, <laughs> just be careful, man, in, in all your endeavors. That's what yeah. Complex told me, too. Are we calling? <laughs> hey, good luck. Yo, yo, yo look this nigga gonna text me and say, good luck with your endeavors. Wow. Bitch, you was the endeavor. <laughs> 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 You're my endeavor, you bitch. Yo, that's funny. It's that um, actually very funny. Like, I don't think. Anytime that someone leaves a good fight, good luck with all your endeavors. Yeah, this was my endeavor. I, I don't have any more endeavors. <laughs> I put all my eggs into this one endeavor, <laughs> and you guys fucking blew it. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot, Pinky. <laughs> are, uh, we, uh, are we calling Graf for the only the conversation that you and I care about? I want Graf to tell us why there's a grinder. <laughs> what? Graf wasn't part of that. Call Graf anyway so he could tell us why he's on Love and Hip Hop. That's more uh, the question I wanted to know. Is Maul going to call Graf? Yeah, I'm calling him now. You want to take the aux or something? Yo. 
Ain't nothing. Hold on one second. I'm going to plug the auction. Well, I can't. That's the new, the new jack. Oh, yeah. Y'all are whack. Graf, why are you on Love and Hip Hop? <laughs> tell, tell us. As one of the better MCs that I've heard, and I've and I too have done love and hip hop. So don't you think I'm judging? God damn it! Even though when I did right, it, it was right. way flyer. Why are you doing it? Same reason, man. For the bag and the exposure. Tell you the truth, I, I said no the first two years because I wasn't really with the shits. I didn't want to do what it takes to be on there. But um, what does it take to be on it? What I mean, you gotta you gotta do mixy shit. I mean, you know my character. I'm a cool. I, I'm like New York cool. I don't do the extra shit. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to play around a little bit and see how it goes. Yo, just, but... Just testing the waters. Hold up, Rory has a question for you. Is James R. really your man? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, but, but Graf, we fuck with you. So if James R. puts hands on you, are you going to, like, call us, man? We'll help. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to need y'all y'all, y'all back, man. Let me just... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know me, man. <laughs> you, know, you know what's so funny? And you know how, I mean, I guess I can't say this technically, but you know how editing goes. Yeah. Nigga, I was talking crazy about son trying to set up the booby trap because I want him to say something slick. But they took, they, they, they took all that shit out. I'm like, damn, I took yeah. out the good stuff. Yeah. I got the good stuff. Wow. That's why you got to, yeah, they're trying to keep you on the toes make sure you always get some good stuff. Yeah, man. Like, I... Put it this way, if I, if I can't, like, on this season, I'm not really dating and doing the mixy shit, which I would have done because I brought some real fine joints to the scene. But uh, that's another conversation. Nah, you got to date somebody, man. Say, you got to date nah, somebody. No, I, 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 brought, I, brought, I brought some bad ones to the scene. Somebody, one of them fell out of the one. I ain't going to say who on the radio. i tell you on a one-on-one. But one of them fell back from the storyline we had after the deal was done. That's why I didn't go. But I, I would have been the New York Stevie J if it went the way it was going. Hey, hey, hey. You know what I mean? It was so stupid. But, you know, it, it didn't go the way it was going. So, I, not a, they, I'm just saying this little mixy shit, but I'm cool. You know what I'm saying I like being on TV, nigga. I ain't even gonna hold you. <laughs> <laughs> that TV pussy different. Yo, nigga, say I ain't even gonna hold you, man. Yo, grab in, be- in between the James R. Jack Weiss beef. You gotta slide in to uh, Sophia the body for the finale. See, I can't do that because that's my man, bro. He was like he had a relationship with her. Wait, wait, wait. No- oh wait, he really had a relationship with Sophia Body. He really did, but if he didn't, then I probably would have done that just for the just because I don't know. I don't know if I would have done it or not. But so then, I, I, he, I, if I can't get mixy with a woman on there, then you might as well slap the shit out of one of these niggas. One yeah, of the other, true. something gotta be lit. That that is true. Well, listen, uh, you need to come up here on our podcast because I have more questions. I would have liked to see you and Juju out. Uh, her casting you instead of Safari, you know, I would like to see that. But next next season, if I get an EP credit, I'll help out. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, I need to alley you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Grab, come up here and fuck with us, man. Hit me. What's up next week? What's up next week? Or what next time y'all do it? It's, well, am I getting fired from? I can't get fired from here. Uh, hit see, more, see, man. See so you can come up here is? whenever, nigga. You family. You already know how this go. I, I, let me say this too while I got you on the phone, Joe. I love the way you move career wise, man. You were like a a, a, a ninja chameleon, man. <laughs> a ninja Wait, chameleon is funny. What the man. fuck is a ninja chameleon? I have a chameleon to make like a, a fight. for you, man. You the best at whatever it is you be doing, man. <laughs> I be watching like because you my nigga, and I'm still like a fan of what you're doing. I'm like, how does this fucking guy do it? Does he have a magic wand in his pocket? I what just got you? fired. <laughs> <laughs> I just lost my job, Graf. I'm fucking. For what reason? For what reason? Ah, uh, because I know my you worth. Can't say it. I know my worth, King. I know uh, my worth. They, That's they, why. I know what that means. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. can't, can't, can't let it happen. But we'll kick it. We'll kick it off air, nigga. Come fuck with nah, me. That's a fact. Nah, that's a fact. Next time y'all doing it, I'm, I'm coming. I'm on deck. I'm on deck. All right, word, love, nigga. All right. <laughs> I kind of liked when y'all was beefing better. A ninja chameleon is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Graf was one of the niggas I didn't really want the beef to go too far because he could rap well and had some real street niggas behind him. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Southside. That's pretty funny. Um, I beef with a lot of niggas that had some real street niggas behind him. I think every rapper on Love and Hip Hop you actually beef with. That is not true. You mean currently, like right now? No, not or now. Or ever? No, nah, yeah, I never the, beefed the, with Jim. I never beefed with... Damn, who else was on there? Talk about New York. Jim was on New York. Consequence. All right, check this out. Craft. <laughs> hey, yo, check, check, check this out, late Saigon. Yeah, Saigon. I hey, knew I was a Rory, bugging. Rory's got a little point. Yeah, I forgot uh, the Saigon one. 
Uh, let's see here. So listen, I can't remember what what I'm forgetting that's supposed to be happening this week, but whatever. It can't be that important. Uh, in Not, honor, nothing for you. In honor of Black Thought, I figure for the sleeper segment, the sleeper portion of this podcast, we just play some fucking... Nas is an alien too, by the way. Sean P is an alien too. May he rest in peace. Um, I took great pride in getting cleaned up by Sean P. <laughs> it's honorable. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna play this record. This, this this is a song called Journey Through the Life. Uh this is P. Diddy featuring Nas and Beans. I'm playing this. If you are familiar with this record, then you know it is not a sleeper because it is from a classic album. I'm playing it as a sleeper because number one, you probably are unfamiliar with this record, number one. And two, this record at the end of that album for me at the time felt like a freestyle. <laughs> so I'm gonna play it. Because it seemed like a freestyle and in honor of Black Thought, I just want to fucking honor niggas that rap like they fucking freestyling. So this is P. Diddy featuring Nas and Beans, Journey Through the Life. Whoa, that was a trash start. See why I don't have a radio station. <laughs> yo, uh-huh. yo. Gangsta, gangsta. Gangsta, yo. That's right. some real niggas. Oh, yeah. If I heard this before I went to rob a nigga, it was on, when my I nigga. Hey. Up, bodies and streams of blood. Naked, naked bitches. Dead niggas ghosts. Feds with toast. Not with my door down. Sweat poured out. My body roast from the heat. So I soak my sheets. Wake up shivering. Put my hoe close to me. She's sexy. Every night is different pussy. Since my girl left me and I tried to make her stay with me. But I stay busy. And her friends are cut close. They deep both delay with me. I reminisce how I miss her staring in space. Resort to the lips of a stripper. Spraying their face. Lamping in the mansion. Home alone, I hear footsteps But shit, I kick's not just lyrics I hold a fifth, one in the ten shots can stop spirits If niggas try to rob me, then I won't hear it Cause it's different from the streets I'm missing my hood now Missing all the boxes, I'm surrounded by woods now It's supposed to be good now It's like I'm walking tightrope and can't look down Fire below me Now the fantasies I have for women are unholy Success, thousand dollar bottles and press Models with fat ass and big breasts Floor seats, Knicks versus Nets Private jets, millionaire air to antique with Ananda, the MTV diva Nas, how do we survive all this mess? This first Western rap game Where words became flesh A whole pound of herb won't dissolve my stress Still I ride to the death Love hip-hop Since Africa, Bombada was death A lot of respect, feel me? Fuck Tim for Rock, Sean John Jury I got the same hands that crap platinum The crap pyramids Write about the black experience Sell it to Merrimax Tell me if you feel it journey through the life of these real niggas The things that they From the street was taught, stayed cased up, niggas stayed deep in court, reminiscing on that cold cell, deep in thought, getting skinny, couldn't eat, cause the meat was poor, y'all niggas couldn't live my life, I been through it, stretched up in hospital beds, fat fluid, two bullets hit my leg, one passed through it, saw the blood in the hole of my calf, look fluid, my life's no joke, I done played dice with soap, upstate for cakes, niggas slice your throat, wear your boxes in the shower room and guard your soap, I done seen the biggest niggas in the yard get broke, I done took blocks to war, yeah. took blocks of uh-huh. war, took blocks of war yeah. for blocks of war. Right. What you think 33 and the Glock is for? Black fatigue, scullies and binoculars. Mm-hmm. C4, block your doors. Niggas can't stop this war. I show you faggots what the swats is for. Right. Hot spots in the doors for the Glocks is for. Read the papers, 94, I took, I took the cops to war. Nigga. Y'all niggas living a lie. That was the hardest line ever back then. switching up your joints because you keep getting robbed. Damn. I look a nigga in his eyes before I send him to God. Beanie Seagull, that's the evil, realest nigga alive. Hey yo, hey yo, gangsta, gangsta. The Bible has words that Christ wrote. Evil men sacrifice goats. I speak all my life under oath. Since a kid, troublesome, throwing shit at little girls. Y'all know what's happening. 
watch it die, covered in flies. Then I pick up a stick, try to dig in its eyes, make it dirt pies. Now I'm being buggy eyes, hitting every other nigga that rap. Sound like my shit. I wear chrome 45s with ice on the grip. I don't shoot it. I roll with killers and criminals. With heroin habits, they picked up from the penal. They let you have it. All I do is give them a smile. Lifestyle on the rivers. You ain't ruthless, you bitch. I got a pine box. Just your size, I know it fit. Your whole life's a mistake. Stop holding the pin. Kill yourself, come back as a man over again. Cause in this lifetime I'm raining. Slay men. Leave your whole body cold. Your nails grow long. You get gray skin. May this nigga rest in peace. Amen. I run with brave men. Split out the house and do island. Made the grave in the pavement. Brick buildings. Grown ladies. Jump off the roof. Nigga get paged and murdered at the phone booth. New York streets made. Nigga. It's crazy, nigga. Take a journey through the life of these real niggas. The things that they seen with thrill. Make it still get you seen. Mic check, mic check. That was Journey Through the Life. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was No Way Out. Uh, P. Diddy featuring Nas and Beans. Read the papers, 94. I took the cops to war. Yes. Um, and there you have it, man. That is my sleeper that's not really a sleeper, but the young fuck me fucks don't know shit, so whatever. Freestyle conda. Yeah, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Freestyle of Jays. Hi, Marty. Oh, Sorry. Uh, we'll play more then, so we can get like a real freestyle. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's DJ Caesar. It's uh, Sean Smith. DJ Caesar freestyle. Friend of the show. DJ Caesar's a friend of the show. DJ Caesar was my DJ when I did that guest radio spot in Philadelphia, and Sean Smith is a friend of all. Uh, so we support that. Sean Smith, baby alien. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. It. Rhyming with DJ Caesar, of course. Sean Smith is a baby alien. I got to bring through the real sure. lyricist in the city. To pull up on me Got Sean Smith with me Sean tell the people What up son What up what up you... Sink or swim in the building Southwest Philly what up Enough talking Let's get to it Yeah Seas what up What up Sean Smith <sighs> Sink or swim Shout out to the whole Philly Yeah Heavy Look Let me go Look Uh Driving in a 96 Infinity with Jesus in the passenger. Pulling up 62nd and Cedar in the traffic rush. Check the rear views. Remember seeing I think of Maxima speeding up in the back of us leading up to my massacre. My thoughts had told me it was a trapper who wasn't that, but with two authorities trailing after. He pedaled faster than metal bastards. He settled passes and finally crashed with 11 wounds and several fractures. Oh. I read it on front page of the paper that next evening cleaning the junk late for my neighbors. Show I rushed right in the crib, hit up my cousin. Eyes lit up as we spit our wicked discussion. I was right there with them niggas that went out busting. That's how you show them pigs that you ain't the nigga to f with. Woo. That was a subject, thug life, murder the public. 16 and ready to buck, young and corrupted. Huh. Look, I learned a lot from my past. Like all the places you can get on five dollars of gas. Wondering how on this line is will last. If I could grow from my past, I put on notice that I'm focusing fast. I held grudges when the door to come fast. Had to learn like Vic, stop rushing and let go of the past. When and who to not get involved with drama get caused. Only difference, I ain't had to do no time for my dogs. Uh-huh. Niggas mm. like to hate like it's your fault. I'm calm knowing even when it's not snowing. Niggas like to throw salt. Uh-huh. I'd rather not to be <laughs> furious. My whole life consists of love and hip hop, though my reality serious. Woo. Mindful slayers earn tears, mm. notice and lows. Watchful haters, they earn shares over that blow. Confiscators earn shares over that dough. Like waffle makers, they turn squares over that dough. For real. <laughs> Label me joke, I been hotter. The code is to stay on these slopes, my men riders. Uh. What cold niggas ain't for your throat, they get dollars. Cause most niggas raised to be broke like pinatas. The flows is amazingly dope, I spend hours. With pros that are label That's me hard. goat, I spit proper. Woo. I promise I ain't voting for none. If I ain't making my sneaks fit on my hell, I ain't holding my tongue. Uh-huh. And my mind is important to win. Yet I'm still seeing signs of being slaughtered by friends. Yet there's niggas out their minds on them corners within. Both hands on their nine like it's quarter to ten. Uh-huh. Move toward the grin, that silly nigga Calm down if it get your threats Like a P and an H It sound like I give a F huh. On the rail you should chill If you dissing me Must be epidural I ain't feel y'all de- I move how I move in the game In real life But what's ironic is We'll never get played with I got a lot of starving dogs I rhyme it hard for y'all Remind me of a PowerPoint My whole project off the wall I take a look in the mirror And I see 50 million That's how I'm doing hands down Nigga like Wendy Williams My mind wasn't always flying this decent We was lost without God Don't know how I'm still breathing We'll bag her off to survive We Supply with they chiefin' Want to blow up like a mob Cause we admire the precinct Try to go against the odds Like me and Tyler was beefing Wouldn't go against the job Cause we get fired for thiefing Uh-huh Yeah Uh-huh Yo Sean Yo. Smith, DJ Caesar Yo. 
to the paper got funny. Notes like Tyrese, I'm waist deep until I'm making good money. SoundCloud at a quarter mil and still be running. You got this title, I take your spot if I really want it. I come off the top with the hot shit like volcanoes. Live it in most of these niggas. Christ on my rose be picture. Knew this beat would take some viewer substance. Lucky me, I'm too poetic not to do it justice. Yeah. Look, gas chambers and fire, I mainly damage. Get planning your last single. I'm dying to bury standards. It man to say sad pay to be biased. But my campus compared with the last name of Mariah. We carry cannons. Here to just crack players arriving like Barry Sanders. I'm stumbling out the drop, though I'm humble without a doubt. Frontin', I'm not about them troops, it's two fairies. They'll put some change on your head if something come out your mouth. Yeah. I was shocked finding they try to topple with minutes. Guess how I bombed it on cosmic Rama's time and they spit it. They wouldn't admit it for Obama was tired of winning. I'm on the track now, can't stop me before I'm Finish. The damn snow, this is man slow as you can't warn us. With guns come up out of the trunk like transformers. Heavy. With damn holes that dance on you, they playing robbers. The jam on you, they glance on you, the scans on me. My homie had his own dad, jip him out of cash. He wanted to let the aid off. He got tired of seeing ends, missing out of stash. It's ironic, I picking pockets of running your jeans. Always someone to scheme, don't be the one on your team. Yeah. Your favorite rapper want me to give him something to spit. But Abraham told me not to touch the tongue of the rich. I'm trying to spark some deep mental innovation. Trying to put my peeps in the bigger places. Y'all read the beef, then they get acquainted. That's why y'all dealing with the streets and the litigations. Yeah. Y'all want to date Kim K sisters. But I really want to rekindle generations. Huh. Yeah. I ain't ready for that. You, so you can stop right there, my J. Stop right there, man. Rhyming with. All right, Sean. <laughs> throw some horns, uh, even though you know I don't have the aux yeah, cord, so they can still hear him. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, he bodied that. That was the faint air horn for Sean Smith, <laughs> who we love. Uh, air, air, uh, applause for him, even though I don't have the aux. Sean, you know, I would give you applause if I had the aux, but salute. Yeah, he killed that. Uh, Joe had covered the the old shit, so I think I want to I want to stay with the new kids. Uh, this Albie Al freestyle. Out of all the flex ones, Black Thoughts included, Albie Al put out one of my favorite flex freestyles ever. Let's go, Al. Um, this one's long, though, so I don't know if we want to sign out pause. and just let this rock. All right, man. We can let this rock or what? Because pause, nigga. This one's long. You it's can't. a long freestyle. I don't know where your head is at, man. You have a child. Like, stop with all uh, that. I don't have a job. So <laughs> my head's everywhere. <laughs> oh, so if, uh, how long is this? Uh, it's, a, it's around the six-minute mark. It's, it's, it's some in-between. That's why it says eight there. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, All so right. I'd rather just let this one rock. Yeah, let's let it rock. Al B. Al, Marion Projects, Jersey City Stand Up. Uh, I hear Al B. Al is fucking with uh, Kodak, I think. I haven't heard that. I haven't gotten that confirmation from Al B. Al, so I'll just shut up about it. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Al, represent Marion. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Always a hard beat to go on. Glow. Nah, he kills this. Yeah, I shot, I shot, I shot. Okay, live from Marion Project, son, the live is one. Representing Jersey City to the fullest. Ask around about me, they tell you he'll pull it. Bradley Bell, nigga, how I'm playing with these bullets. Yeah, that's the dope back wizards. Know them streets got my heart coated in the blizzard. Catch me in the trap house, snow like a blizzard. Send my little homie, come and hit ya, get ya. You know I stay around shooters. If I tell them niggas shoot, they gon' shoot ya. Hit your first born while he rollin' on his scooter. Writing his medulla, give him the whole ruler. Easy on him. Said bang, bang, nigga, brim gang. I swear it hurt when your friends change. And you be thinking they was real from the get go. He switched over and start acting like Cisco. When I was young, man, I always had a temper. Those who know me, I'm pretty sure they remember. If you piss me off, man, somebody get injured. Swear I'm big and pop if you put them in a blender. Put them in the. Try to understand that we all signed up to this game that we play until our time's up. Hey, where I go, I got the heater up. I probably pass more pies out than Pizza Hut. Might not ever get a Grammy because I ain't a rapper. Might not ever get an Oscar because I ain't an actor. Just a nigga who express how he feel. And they fuck with my music because they know I keep it real. Won't be a simple murder on the day I die. It's going to be a mystery. Someone in disguise. Hacking like they fuck with me. Playing both sides. Make sure when you do it, look me in the eyes. They kill my bro. I feel some type of way. If I was home, he would have died, nigga, right away. Face shots. Bullets to his torso. I'll be out. Playing Grand Theft Auto Hands grip, praying to the Lord Said I wouldn't kill again, I know he heard it all before But what happened to my brother, something I can't ignore It want me to think peace, but lately I'm thinking war Hold up, pardon my thoughts, they corrupted Lately them the thoughts I've been stuck with If I move crazy, they say I'm gonna get cut quick But for my brother or my mother, 
I'm like, fuck it. Niggas wanna know if I'll be how life is real. I know niggas doing life in jail, and I write them still. Real nigga, yeah, I'm signed and sealed. Hey, yo, I'm really about this life for real. I swear I got homies doing time in the box. Hey, buy shit ain't on them, so I'm all like they got. When I was on trap, flex, my stomach was a knot. Cause people say they love you when you go on that shit stop. Like they wanna see you burn, showing no concern. That's why I'm out here. Hey, night, I'm on turn. Niggas want me dead, so I'm gripping on it firm. I be a real nigga, to the dirt and to the urn. Swear everything is earned. Loyalty and trust. Told my real niggas that all we got is us. Sipping on that tuss, top blowing on that dust. Got a bitch that sucked me how the county tore the flush. Niggas wanna kill me, so I'm riding around filthy. Know a lot of niggas wish the jury found me guilty and say they real. How you real want me to stay in jail? Your man bagged and you don't send him mail. Free the homies, nigga. Yeah. Free the homies doing real time. And I ain't talking burglaries, I'm talking real crimes. It don't hurt to pick your pen up. Sharks in the water with they fin up. Know you feel alone, but you still hold your chin up. If you build with 10 mil, we gon' get the 10 up. That's law, you see. It might be far fetched when niggas get the picture. Bitch, you really love letting niggas dicker. His girl left him on his first year. His mama died on his fourth year. It's like nobody cared. He phoned home, but ain't nobody there. He just trying to let his pain catch somebody in. Yeah. And some niggas don't use the phone because they can't. They don't even got money for a stamp. And if they had a stamp, they had nobody to write. He got 10 years in, and he still ain't get a kite. Nigga, what's your life like? Man? I fell for him. It's well for him. He ain't even do the shit, but he went to jail for him. If he was home, he would have killed for him. At least pray for him. Trying to keep, and I'm trying to keep. 
I will show my niggas they have millions All my niggas they have billions uh, I know these bitches like I wish he had feelings And all these fuck niggas out here trying to kill him uh, Yeah You see us, Hot 97, yeah, yeah. I'll be out, Jersey City I mean, it's free stuff. Flex loves saying you see us <laughs> Alright, well shit I guess that's how we'll end it I have, right, I have, no, I have no more. Up. I have no more Henny Paloozas to plug. Joe has no more everyday struggle to plug. There's nothing to plug. Damn it, it's over. <laughs> Fucking mall, man. I'm waiting for him to get fired from the block. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> waiting for that's, that's the, waiting for the way to say, waiting, waiting for the, the can course to had, a, had enough of him. <laughs> There's only two ways you get fired from the block, and, I, and I don't want Maul to get fired. <laughs> Maul is not on the block. Let me just say that. I don't know what these niggas is talking about, but okay. Maul might get fired from uh, the new Rockefeller '96 Urban Outfitters uh, <laughs> shit they got going on. Maul can't even get off fucking Air Force Ones or Rockefeller chain or title. Oh boy, uh, yeah. Anyways, peace. <laughs>